Chapter 1861 Meeting Translator Born to be Long Chen looked at the smiling and gentle Chu Yao. He spread his arms, embracing her. I missed you. You should be saying you missed all of us. You can't just miss me. Chu Yao also tightly held Long Chen. I missed you all, but I missed you the most. Long Chen smiled. HMPH, you're most skilled at deceiving others. Right now, we should hurry and gather treasures. This area has medicinal fields on the outside and a fruit forest on the inside. There are countless precious kinds of fruit. I've already obtained seven of them. This trip to the Yin Yang world wasn't wasted. Chu Yao, pleased as she showed Long Chen her harvest. Damn, silk fig, dark night crab apple, and soul nourishing star peach. Long Chen was greatly shocked. They were all priceless. Even if they were eaten directly without being refined into pills, their effects were amazing. In particular, that soul nourishing star peach was top tier. It could constantly nourish the soul and raise the power of a person's spiritual strength. It could also heal damage to the soul. Here, they're all for you. Chu Yao handed them all to Long Chen. These trees had yet to bloom let alone bear fruit. However, Chu Yao knew Long Chen had a way to make them grow rapidly. It was just that she didn't know of the existence of the primal chaos bead. It wasn't that Long Chen didn't trust them, but he was afraid of infecting them with the karma of knowing this. In any case, they knew he had the ability, and that was enough. Long Chen immediately planted them in the primal chaos space. Where is Ruian? asked Long Chen. She went to drive off that irritating fellow. Some fellow from the blood kill hall was here, so she had to hold him back while I searched for treasures, said Chu Yao. Is he very powerful? Tell Ruian that we can go help eliminate him, said Long Chen. HMPH. He would cut this fellow who dared to bully his woman to pieces. No need. Suddenly, space shook, and the icy Lu Ruian appeared before the two of them. That fellow finally lost patience and fucked off. We can look for treasures in peace. Lu Ruian looked at Long Chen, her face as icy as ever, still having not forgiven him for how he had suppressed her before. Was he very powerful? asked Long Chen. Chu Yao saw that Lu Ruian ignored him, and to avoid any awkwardness, she immediately said, that person was very powerful. Most powerful of all were his practically supernatural movement arts and his assassination arts. We had no way to beat him. The only thing we could do was attack him from all sides without leaving a single opening and defend against his assassination attempts. However, there was no way to defeat him like that. So Ruian stayed behind to hold him back. Lu Ruian supplemented. He's even stronger than we expected. In truth, he has yet to use 50% of his power. He couldn't find any weakness he could take advantage of. So he didn't go all out. He finally lost his patience and decided that it wasn't worth it. Long Chen nodded. Assassins relied on opportunity. They wanted the biggest gain for the smallest price. If they relied on power to win, then they wouldn't be assassins. It seemed that all the peak heavenly geniuses of the martial heaven continent had gathered in the yin yang world this time. All the elites of the various powers had come. True immortal Jiaoki, Ziluo, Di Fang, Miang Ji Ye, the four fate princes, and even top experts of the blood kill hall had all come. These were just people that he knew of. Who knew how many nameless figures had come who would emerge as a new force to be reckoned with. The powers of the martial heaven continent all had their own trump cards. They normally wouldn't expose them for nothing. But this opening of the yin yang world was definitely very enticing. Enough for those powers to show the trump cards that they had hidden. Long Chen. Did you encounter any powerful experts? Asked Chu Yao. Yes, I ran into a few. Long Chen gave a simple narration of his encounters with true immortal Jiaoki, Zi Luo, Miang Ji Ye, and the others. He also told her about what heavenly fate islands Luo Xianji had exposed to him so that she would be careful. At the same time, Long Chen was trying to raise the karmic retributions for heavenly fate island. Li Xiangxuan had said that Heavenly Fate Island couldn't calculate anything about him. If he told Chu Yao about the Fate Princes, logically, it should infect her with a bit of his own karma, increasing the difficulty and consequences of trying to calculate anything about her. Ruian, you said you felt some kind of summons. Have you found it? asked Long Chen. 
it's because of that feeling that we've come here. However, upon reaching here, that feeling disappeared. Laruian shook her head. Then let's do it this way. We'll advance side by side while searching. I'll take the center, and you two take the sides. We should stay within a hundred miles of each other so we can provide assistance if someone finds any big fish. You understand, right? Said Long Chen with an evil smile. I understand. Lu Ruian was already flying off. Chu Yao couldn't help smiling, winking at Long Chen. She also flew off. The three of them formed a line as they advanced. The direction was chosen by Chu Yao. When it came to picking anything random, Long Chen always had someone else do it. Damn, Chu Yao's luck really is good. I've already found a heavenly dew cherry. That's a priceless treasure. He had found a little tree emitting a bright light. Mist revolved around it. There was a formation beneath the tree, but that formation was only used to absorb spiritual chi for it. It had no defensive power. So Long Chen directly cut off this part of the mountain and sent it to the primal chaos space. He didn't damage the formation. The primal chaos space as spiritual chi surged toward the tree, nourishing it. In less than an incense stick's worth of time, Long Chen found three precious trees just like it. Flowers were about to bloom inside his heart. This was money. In the future, he wouldn't just have plenty of fruit to eat, but he would also be overflowing with money. His business with Zheng Wenlong would be booming. Naturally, he would have to sell the fruit to Zheng Wenlong, or Zheng Wenlong would be offended. In this world, as long as you had money, anything would be easy to do. Looking at the trees growing in the primal chaos space, Long Chen sighed emotionally. The primal chaos bead was truly a cornucopia of wealth. Boom. Suddenly, an explosive sound came from Long Chen's left. We've caught a fish. Long Chen was delighted and immediately shot over. Wooden stakes flew through the air, forming layers of defense in front of Chu Yao. Before her was a 10-meter man wielding a giant hatchet. It went without saying that just based on his size, he had to come from the Xuan beasts. Most likely, upon seeing Chu Yao alone, he had directly launched an attack. That Xuan beast expert's hatchet repeatedly smashed into Chu Yao's wooden shield. Finally, the wooden shield broke. The Xuan beast expert charged through, attacking Chu Yao. His manifestation was at full power and had reached an initial awakening. He was definitely a powerful expert. However, Chu Yao was also powerful. Each wooden shield she summoned required five blows from him to break. If it was in a one against one, that Xuan beast expert would never be able to get close to her. And with her immense stores of spiritual yuan, she could exhaust three of him. This Xuan beast expert seemed to be very conceited and he instantly activated his divine item, unleashing a powerful blow. However, he had just started his attack when a scale-covered hand struck him silently in the face. Without comprehending what had just happened, he was smashed into the ground, his face caving in. It went without saying that the Xuan beasts had powerful physical bodies. Long Chen had landed his slap perfectly, and this expert hadn't even been circulating his spiritual yuan in defense but his physical body was still able to endure it. If it was an ordinary human slapped with such power, they would definitely explode. Earthen Bramble Thorns, the Xuan Beast expert was dazed from the slap, and during that moment, Chu Yao activated a powerful attack. Dense thorns shot out of the ground, piercing the Xuan Beast expert. His body shook before becoming still. Even if he wanted to move, he couldn't. The thorns were growing within his body. In the end, his entire body became wooden. This was the terrifying ability that Chu Yao had gained when her manifestation had started to awaken. Her wooden stakes could cause a person to transform into wood once they were struck, and they couldn't escape. Boom. Suddenly, the hatchet tried to run, but Long Chen slashed Evil Moon down at it, blocking its path. He caught it and tossed it into the primal chaos space. Two small trees appeared in the air. That was the Xuan Beast Expert's current harvest. Chu Yao had taken them out. He only had these few, said Chu Yao. Just two is decent. After all, there's also a divine item. We got it all for free, so let's not care too much about it. Long Chen laughed. There were many things on that expert that were useless to humans. They were only treasures to Xuan Beasts. Things had ended here before Lu Ruian even arrived. The three of them continued onward. 
but now their luck was no longer as good. It seemed that they were crossing areas that others had already passed. He was just about to discuss whether or not they should change direction when the world shook. A beam of light shot into the sky in the distance, illuminating the world. Let's go take a look. The three of them immediately rushed over to that beam of light. Chapter 1862 World of Immortal Light Translator Born to be Long Chen, Chu Yao, and Lu Ruian rushed over in the direction of the light. At this time, Long Chen noticed several other experts flying over as well. In the distance, there were even more people. They were like shooting stars gathering. There are actually so many people here. Chu Yao was startled. A brief examination revealed at least a hundred powerful auras. The gate to this place was blocked by those vines. Without the power of an Empyrean whose manifestation had started to awaken, it was almost impossible to charge through it. If there's a fight, you should focus on protecting yourself. Leave it to me, said Long Chen. Although Chu Yao was definitely strong, she wasn't vicious enough. As for Lu Ruian, she was definitely vicious enough. So Long Chen would prefer if the two of them stayed together. This place was different from the outside. Those who could enter here were all experts of a high level. If a fight started, he would be unable to look after others. As they got closer to the light, Long Chen found that this was a new world. A world of immortal light. There was immortal mist filling this area, making it like a wonderland. It was unknown if someone had activated it or if it had activated automatically. But this light was now illuminating this world, drawing over all the experts present. This world of immortal light was filled with mountains and mist. There were trees on the mountains, and their leaves touched with dew. Immense life energy could be sensed even from a great distance. There are definitely treasures inside. A shout rang out as everyone rushed over to it as quickly as possible as if afraid they would fall behind others. There were already people present within that world of immortal light. There was no danger, so everyone was rushing in as fast as possible. Long Chen also charged into the light. The outer edge of this world of light had no defensive power, so he passed through effortlessly. Once in, a majestic immortal spiritual chi rushed over him. With just a breath, his entire body relaxed. However, at the same time, he noticed that this world was completely different from the world outside. From the outside. This world looked to be less than 10,000 miles wide. Inside, he found that it was many times bigger, and most definitely worthy of being called its own world. Just as he entered, a sharp attack followed him. Courting death, Long Chen snorted. Without looking, he smashed a fist behind him. Boom. Long Chen's fist smashed into a bronze rod, and a powerful qi wave blew Long Chen back a dozen steps. His arm was a bit numb. As for the attacker, he looked at Long Chen with surprise. Just now, he had stealthily activated the power of his divine item, but Long Chen had received it barehanded. Little ancient race brat, I'll remember you. I don't have time for you now, but later I'll settle our debts. Long Chen swung his arm a few times and shot off. A pair of lightning wings on his back. He had no time to waste. He had to search through this area as fast as possible. It wasn't just Long Chen who was thinking this way. Everyone who entered this world was searching through it without wasting any time. Some people were extremely quick, and they had reached the mountains ahead. As a result, a furious roar suddenly rang out from the closest mountain. A multicolored tiger came flying out of a cave. It's an ancient beast. The cloud-treading sword-teeth tiger. Startled cries rang out. The fastest expert was the unluckiest. By the time he noticed the cloud-treading sword-teeth tiger, it was too late to run. Seeing it bounding at him, he let out a shout. His manifestation appeared behind him, and his sword unleashed a wave of divine power. In the face of this twelfth-rank ancient beast, he had no choice but to go all out. Boom. The result was that the cloud-treading sword-teeth tiger's paw slammed into his sword chi, blowing it to pieces. The expert coughed up blood as he flew back. However, that person was truly powerful. Although his attack had been broken, he left a bloody line on the tiger's paw. To receive a 12th rank magical beast's attack, he had to be very powerful. Hacking up blood, he was almost torn apart by the shock waves. A 12th rank magical beast's power was not something that he could receive. Blessing his luck at surviving, he fled. However, just as he exhaled, 
The cloud treading sword teeth tiger opened its mouth. A transparent ball shot toward him. Boom. The ball was like a shooting star, giving him no time to dodge. He was blown to pieces, not even his Yuan spirit surviving. The cloud treading sword teeth tiger roared. Having been injured, it became even more berserk. It began to attack the other experts. Those experts all fled. However, the cloud treading sword teeth tiger was too fast. Opening its mouth, another ball shot out. This time, the ball struck three experts. In the face of death, those three experts went all out, managing to block its attack. However, they paid an immense price and were sent flying into the distance. Seeing this, everyone else avoided the beast. With so many people, all of them avoiding it, in the end, it would be up to the unlucky fellow to draw its attention. Because Long Chen hadn't been in the first wave to enter, he had time to avoid the cloud treading sword teeth tiger. This place's aura is completely different from the outside. Is this the legendary immortal Qi Long Chen was shocked by this majestic aura? He had never felt this kind of aura, not even in the spirit world. This aura vaguely felt similar to the spirit world's life god tree, but only ever so slightly. If there's immortal Qi, there must be immortal medicines. I have to find them. Long Chen's divine sense suddenly spread in every direction. HMPH. Courting death. The experts around him felt it, and their own spiritual strength erupted, attacking Long Chen's divine sense. Scram. Long Chen shouted, and his spiritual strength suddenly burst forth. The experts who tried to stop him let out screams, almost falling from the sky. Long Chen's spiritual strength was incredibly powerful, and if he had mastered spiritual attacks, they'd have died. Boom. Long Chen suddenly slashed his saber, cutting across the waist of a mountain. He tossed the portion he had severed into the primal chaos space. He had seen a strange tree that he didn't recognize, but his intuition told him that it was very likely a treasure. He would rather gather it and find out it was trash later on than let it go. He would investigate it later. He had just gathered the mountain when he sensed a sharp sword chi silently stabbing toward him. By the time he sensed it, it was about to pierce his body. I've been waiting a long time for you, idiot. Long Chen didn't even look back. Evil Moon stabbed toward his attacker just like that. A normal sword was between 3 and 4 feet long. Evil Moon on the other hand was 9 feet long. That person would have long since struck by the time his sword reached Long Chen. A clanging sound rang out as Evil Moon stabbed that person's arm. His sleeves were torn apart, revealing a black arm guard. The arm guard managed to block Long Chen's attack, but Long Chen's saber had so much power behind it that it caused his arm to burst open. Blood poured out of it. However, in exchange, his sword stabbed into Long Chen's shoulder. Originally, his sword was aiming for Long Chen's heart. To a cultivator, that might not be fatal, but it would definitely greatly affect their power and reactions. Rather than aiming for the head which would cause someone to feel mortal danger, aiming for the heart was less likely to raise their guard. So assassins usually targeted the heart first. However, Long Chen's saber was stabbing into his arm, and Long Chen's body also turned. His sword ended up deviating from its original target. His sharp sword pierced Long Chen's shoulder, but after an inch, it couldn't stab in any further. Dragon scales covered Long Chen's shoulder, blocking the majority of the sword's power. The dragon scales were broken now, but strangely, the blood that Long Chen was bleeding out of his shoulder was black. Boom. Light exploded out of Evil Moon. Driving that person away, Long Chen suddenly slashed his own shoulder. A hunk of flesh was torn off, and it was already turning black and corroding. This is the part of the blood kill hall that I look down on the most. Even in the secular world, assassins don't put poison on their blades. The reason they're called assassins is because they like the thrill. They rely on their supreme assassination arts that give them the high of dancing on the tip of a blade. But your blood kill hall will sink to such depths. You're not even worthy of being called assassins. Long Chen contemptuously shook his head at that person. The one facing him was a man in a silver mask. He slowly took off his mask with his left hand, revealing a very ordinary face. But his eyes were like a viper's. You don't even know what assassination arts are. Death shouldn't be the same every time. Only various assassination methods are able to diversify this art, he said. Long Chen smiled mockingly. 
Let's not talk about such meaningless things. All I want to know is, what blood kill number are you? Chapter 1863 Yun Yang Immortal Grass Translator Born to be this person gave Long Chen a sensation of great pressure. Long Chen even suspected that he was the Blood Kill Hall's strongest assassin. Rumor was that the Blood Kill Hall's strongest assassin was above the number rankings. However, the only one he knew was Dong Mingyu, who had gotten on the Devil Slaughter rankings. That name sounded like it belonged to a woman. So this person should not be her. Blood Kill 1 has been slain by you. A new Blood Kill 1 has already been born. But they are no longer qualified to assassinate you. That's why the mission for your head has been given to us. We belong to the Killing God Hall. I am one of the Killing God Hall's three divine emissaries. My name and title is Man Killer. The three divine emissaries are ranked Heaven, Earth, and Man. And I am third. I am also the one who will take your life. So remember it, said that assassin of the Blood Kill Hall. Heaven Killer? Earth Killer? Man Killer? Long Chen smiled mockingly. There really is no one that brags like your blood kill hall. If you brag this much, I'll think that you're Dong Mingyu. Why hasn't she come? The assassin shook his head. Someone like you isn't qualified to have the divine daughter personally chosen by the killing god to come kill you. It's the three divine emissaries that will take your life. Long Chen looked at him, pointing at man killer's feet. Long Chen shook his head. You're bragging so much, but you've already made preparations to run. You have no intention of fighting with me. Is there a point to your bragging? The space beneath the Blood Kill Hall's assassin was starting to shake. It formed a portal for him. He was ready to run at any moment. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins don't face people head on. We'll just wait for a chance to kill you in one blow. No matter what time it is. As long as you relax the slightest bit. My sword will summon you to the killing god. Are you trying to play mental warfare with me? If so. You're too immature. When you attack the next time, I'll show you just how laughable your diverse assassination arts are. Long Chen laughed and turned away, leaving. The Blood Kill Hall's assassins were all crafty and slippery. Their fleeing arts were even greater than their assassination arts. If Long Chen tried to fight him head on, he would immediately slip away. The chances of killing a strong assassin were abysmal. Without catching them, there was no chance. They had their own ways of protecting themselves. Long Chen wanted to see if he could eliminate such a powerful assassin head on, but he didn't have the time to waste. There were more important things to do here. That assassin didn't stop Long Chen from leaving. With a snort, he vanished into thin air. His movement art was inexplicable. There was no way to track him. Ignoring that so called divine emissary of the killing god, Long Chen rushed toward the mountain range. More magical beast roars could be heard from within. They were clearly there to defend this place. But the people that had entered were all crazy with greed. These mountains had countless precious medicines growing on them. Someone plucked a fruit and ate it. It instantly dissolved. Transforming into blood-colored runes that covered his body. Spiritual chi surged toward him crazily. Causing his expression to change. He punched himself in the chest. Coughing up a mouthful of blood. The runes on his body faded. However, he was delighted. This fruit was actually able to allow someone to rapidly advance. However, this place was the yin yang world, and he was already at the peak of soul transformation. He couldn't make his breakthrough here, so he had to forcibly interrupt that fruit's effect. Seeing the people ahead obtain such priceless treasures, everyone was going crazy. They even ignored the terrifying 12th rank magical beasts. Charging deeper into the mountain range, Long Chen reached out and grabbed an unremarkable little tree growing out of the cliffside. He also didn't know its name, but his intuition said it was a treasure. He had just gathered it when he saw a python swing its tail like a whip, blowing apart a powerful Empyrean. This dangerous region meant a few unlucky people would be targeted by the 12th rank magical beasts. Even Empyreans with awakening manifestations and divine items were only able to endure one or two attacks at most before being killed. After killing that person, the python suddenly shot toward Long Chen. Fuck. All I did was look at you. Long Chen turned and fled. His lightning wings were in full force, and he had no intention of foolishly fighting a 12th rank magical beast directly. The python opened its mouth, 
shooting out a black runic sword at Long Chen. The huge sword was incredibly powerful, but Long Chen activated the celestial lightning body blink, vanishing and reappearing at the bottom of a distant mountain. He immediately concealed his aura. The runic sword missed. The python lost its target and switched to another direction. Several experts there changed their expressions and immediately fled. Long Chen stealthily climbed the mountain, looking into the distance. He quickly saw Chu Yao's figure, but she was very low-key. She was covered in green mist so others couldn't see her clearly. She was silently profiting. Is that place the core of this world? Long Chen suddenly noticed a pillar of light in the distance. He sensed the air of primal chaos within it. Black and white runes interwove there, causing the world to shake. Within that pillar of light, he could vaguely see a mountain. There was some kind of vegetation growing atop the mountain. One that looked like a flower or a grass but was neither. That vegetation was hundreds of meters tall. It had long leaves falling from it. Each leaf was split evenly in the middle with half being black and half being white. The black was the blackest black, while the white was the purest white. Between the black and white leaves was a large pole. It was covered in black and white marks. At the top of the pole was a sphere several meters thick. It was like a fruit, but this fruit was translucent, and it was sometimes black as night and sometimes white as jade. When it was black, a burst of death energy would surge out, raising people's hair. When it was white, endless life energy would nourish the world, filling it with peace, intertwining black and white, alternating yin and yang. It was like the world's deos were contained within its transformations. Heavens, that's definitely a legendary yin yang immortal grass, shouted someone. Yin yang immortal grass. That was something said to be an undying divine medicine that could make a person rise from the dead, transcend reincarnation, and live forever, gaining a lifespan as long as the heavens. However, no one had ever seen it. It was only found in stories and myths. Even any details about it were very vague. Nevertheless, all those legends had one common point. The yin-yang immortal grass possessed alternating yin-yang energy that could topple the world. If anyone could obtain it, they could control the cycle of life and death, becoming the ruler of the world. Of course, as soon as someone shouted the name of the yin-yang immortal grass, everyone's eyes became crazy with greed. That was something that contained the power to control the world, and whoever possessed it could dominate everyone else. Even Long Chen was unable to stay calm. This strange plant truly did look similar to the yin-yang immortal grass of legends. Charge. People roared charging straight toward that pillar of light, not even bothering to search through the mountains any longer. Long Chen, Ruian said that there's something within the light pillar that she needs. Chu Yao's voice rang out in Long Chen's head. She wants the Yun Yang immortal grass. No, there's a divine pool beneath it. That place is where all the essence is gathered, said Chu Yao. Long Chen looked carefully. Only now did he notice that the Yun Yang immortal grass had taken root in a divine pool. The divine pool was turbid with the air of primal chaos. It had strange fluctuations. This was definitely a place set up to nourish the yin yang immortal grass. Should we charge in? Asked Chu Yao. No, things aren't so simple. I keep feeling like something is off. We should be more cautious than these people, warned Long Chen. This place was too strange. He was feeling a vague sense of unease. Just at this moment. The first Empyrean managed to reach the Pillar of Light. He slashed his divine item into it. A slight ripple came from the Pillar of Light. Black Chi surged out of the ripple. Get back. One of his friends shouted at him. However, it was too late. His divine item instantly turned black. Following which his entire body also turned black. Then, he slowly dissipated like dust. Even his divine item blew away in pieces. Chapter 1864 The Light Barrier Fails? Translator. Born to be all the experts were dumbfounded. A powerful Empyrean had been turned to dust along with his divine item by the light barrier. He silently disappeared from this world. That was even more frightening than being blown to bits. That was especially true when it came to his divine item, which also turned to dust without being able to resist in the slightest. That's definitely the yin yang immortal grass. Only the power of the immortal Tao could so easily destroy a divine item, shouted someone. Divine items were the apex weapons on the martial heaven continent. However, in front of that light barrier, 
it was silently turned into nothingness. That kind of power was definitely not something anything in the mortal world could do. Just as everyone paused in front of the light barrier, the magical beasts chasing them didn't pause. They charged over, immediately causing chaos. People didn't know whether they should charge through or run. Charge through? They didn't dare. After all, that person's overconfidence had cost him his life. However, they were also unwilling to leave just like that. That was the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. If they could obtain it, the Martial Heaven Continent would be theirs. Everyone, ignore the Yun Yang Immortal Grass for now. We should first join forces to kill these magical beasts, or no one will benefit in the end, shouted a man in fiery red robes. This person was tall, but he didn't look particularly outstanding. However, his blood red pupils contained dancing flame runes. His robes had a clear flame image on them, showing that he was from Pill Valley's flame divine palace. As soon as he spoke, all the experts, whether they were from the righteous path, corrupt path, ancient races, Xuan beasts, or ancient family alliance, joined hands to fight off the 12th rank magical beasts. 10 people should surround each beast, focus on their vitals and don't hold back, shouted the expert from Pill Valley's Flame Divine Palace, taking the lead in attacking one of the 12th rank magical beasts, he held a flame spear, the blood red spear stabbed forward, and its power shattered the surrounding mountains, the earth collapsed, he was an extremely terrifying expert, the tiger magical beast he was facing was pierced in the abdomen, and blood red flames enveloped the entire magical beast, it was heavily injured from just one exchange. Seeing this, the others attacked. Over ten Empyreans with manifestations starting to awaken activated their divine items at once. Even this twelfth rank magical beast wasn't able to endure it all and was slain in an instant. Beside them, another magical beast was slain. The other experts were imitating their kill, slaughtering the magical beasts. Only by working together could they avoid getting killed in one blow. Long Chen. What should we do? asked Chu Yao, standing in the distance. She was still doing as Long Chen said, and acting like she didn't know Long Chen. If she didn't, the crowd might attack her. You should help them too, or it will be too conspicuous. However, be careful, and don't let people recognize you. I'll investigate this light barrier, said Long Chen. Chu Yao nodded, extending her arm. A snake bone whip appeared in her hand. She joined the fray but she was clearly not putting in any effort. On the entire battlefield, the only one not fighting the magical beasts was Long Chen. He was calmly looking at the light barrier. The expert from Pill Valley glanced at Long Chen out of the corner of his eye. He smiled coldly. Once everyone was done with the magical beasts, they could directly eliminate him. This expert was a supreme expert that Pill Valley had been hiding. He had mastered all of Pill Valley's flame magical arts. If the Yun Yang world hadn't opened, Pill Valley wouldn't have exposed him. Now that he had entered the Yun Yang world, his greatest mission was to eliminate Long Chen and destroy the Dragon Blood Legion. Long Chen could not be allowed to leave alive. Originally, he hadn't been planning on targeting Long Chen so early, as he had wanted to test his own luck to see if he could get any treasures. However, he had ended up encountering Long Chen here. If Long Chen was smart, he would have immediately fled, but he was just foolishly staring at the light pillar as if he didn't know how close to death he was. He didn't disturb Long Chen. Instead, he helped the experts with annihilating the magical beasts. Long Chen didn't even look at the intense battle raging around him. He held two swords in his hands. He suddenly threw one of the swords into the light barrier. When it struck the light barrier, the light barrier instantly turned black, and the sword which was an ancestral item, instead turned into black bits that drifted away. Long Chen waited a moment and threw his other sword in. This time, his sword pierced into the light barrier, but when it was about to exit, the barrier once more turned black, and the sword dissipated. Long Chen, your death has come. That expert from Pill Valley suddenly led hundreds of experts over. Each one of them was an Empyrean whose manifestation had begun to awaken. They were elites amongst elites, or they wouldn't have been able to bypass the vines at the gate. Having joined forces, they formed groups of ten to slay the twelfth rank magical beasts. It was actually very easy. After all, 
magical beasts were not very intelligent. After being attacked by so many experts, they were naturally at a disadvantage. They also didn't know that they should run, so they were all killed. Once killed, everyone gathered around Long Chen. Long Chen, today is the day of your death, shouted an ancient race expert. We have to make sure not to let him off too easily added an expert from the Xuan beasts. The experts from all the various large forces had gathered to attack Long Chen. Even some of the righteous experts were shouting along, as if Long Chen was the criminal who had slain their fathers. Long Chen looked back at the group. A faint smile of derision appeared on his face. Do you see me giving a damn about you? That look of contempt immediately provoked everyone. Their divine items lit up, and their manifestations appeared behind them. Idiots. Long Chen's gaze swept over these experts. Shaking his head, he raised two middle fingers, turned around, and stepped into the light barrier. Seeing this, all those experts jumped in shock. Was Long Chen committing suicide? However, shockingly, Long Chen passed straight through the light barrier without harm. How is that possible? Did the light barrier lose its effect? Quick, we can't let him get it first. Shocked cries rang out because they all saw Long Chen speeding toward the Yun Yang immortal grass. Everyone panicked. Could it be that the light barrier had a time limit, and after a certain time, it lost its effect? Several experts hastily charged through the light barrier, but as soon as they struck it, the black ripples appeared, turning them to dust. No, more people were hot on the first few people's trails, and they couldn't stop in time. They smashed into the light barrier, transforming into dust. Seventeen Empyreans were killed just like that, like moths attracted to fire. That expert from Pill Valley had an ugly expression now, just now. He had almost smashed into the light barrier to chase after Long Chen. If his reactions weren't quick enough, he would have died. Damn it. How is this possible? Why would the light barrier not stop Long Chen but block us? Unwilling roars rang out. Unfortunately, no matter how they roared, it was useless. Long Chen had already entered, while they would be killed if they touched the light barrier. No one dared to try again. They could only watch as Long Chen flew toward the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. There has to be a method to get in. It's just that we haven't figured out the secret to the light barrier yet, said someone. Everyone, think. If we pull our intelligence together, I refuse to believe that we can't figure it out if Long Chen could. That's right. Whoever figures it out must share it. After all, if they enter alone, their chances of defeating Long Chen are low. If we enter together, we can annihilate him and avoid any accidents spread out. Surround the light barrier so that Long Chen can't leave. If Long Chen approaches you, shout for reinforcements. Even if Long Chen obtains the Yun Yang Immortal Grass, he won't have time to refine it, so he won't be stronger. If we attack together, he won't have a life to enjoy his treasures, said the expert from Pill Valley. He had great prestige amongst these people, and they immediately followed his orders. Surrounding the light pillar, no matter which direction Long Chen went, he would have to face at least three powerful experts. It should be simple for them to hold him back. The experts also began testing the light barrier just like Long Chen had. They constantly tested it, but no matter what they threw at it, everything would turn to black dust. They couldn't figure out any pattern. Even after an incense stick's worth of time later, they were unable to make the slightest progress. Chu Yao was also following along, but inside, she was laughing. Was intelligence really something that could be pooled? If a river took someone 12 hours to cross, could 12 people cross it in one hour? Of course not. Long Chen might not like to use his head, but when he did, only a few people could match him. Long Chen had told her not to expose herself. She simply attacked the barrier along with the others, looking closely at Long Chen. His figure was tiny now. He had finally arrived at the foot of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. Chapter 1865 The Bound Yun Yang Immortal Grass Translator Born to be when Long Chen first entered the light barrier, he looked back with a cold smile at the experts who followed him, smashing into the barrier. The reason he dared to pass the light barrier was because he had figured out how it worked. Or perhaps he should say that amongst everyone present, he was the only one qualified to enter the light barrier. This light barrier was affected by the Yun Yang Immortal Grass, 
It was a special barrier, and although it looked like it had a single layer, there were actually nine layers. The line layers were stacked together, but each layer was filled with alternating life and death energy. There was a certain gap between the alternating life and death energy, and if you could grasp that gap, you could enter. However, the flow of life and death energy in the barrier was not so easy to read. If you misread it and walked into the death energy, you would be instantly killed. To cross only the life side of all nine layers was something only nether passage experts who had comprehended life and death could do. That was why none of these experts could figure out the barrier. The reason Long Chen could do it was because he had entered the netherworld and gathered the life spirit water and death spirit water. He had a great deal of experience when it came to these two kinds of energy. Despite that, other than using those two swords as a test, Long Chen had also tossed some very fine leaves inside to figure out the barrier. Only once he was sure it was safe did he enter. However, he was truly evil. He had intentionally waited for those people to gather around him before provoking them and entering. Those people didn't even have time to consider it. Almost automatically assuming that the barrier had lost effect, they had chased, resulting in over 10 Empyreans being conned to their deaths. Past the light barrier, Long Chen saw that this space was also its own world. It was not as small as it looked on the outside. It took him a full incense stick's worth of time to get close to the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. At this time, he finally managed to see the complete form of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. He also had a closer look at the divine pool beneath it. It was an enormous divine pool filled with primal chaos. It was misty and radiated a divine glimmer. The giant Yun Yang Immortal Grass was taking root within the divine pool. On the edges of the pool, Long Chen saw runic chains. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass's rhizome was chained by them. The divine pool was chained here, as was the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. Looking up at the black and white leaves in the sky. Long Chen felt like an ant. The leaves completely covered the sky. This feeling of tininess wasn't just based on sight but also on his spiritual perception. He could feel a majestic aura coming from the Yun Yang Immortal Grass that surpassed anything that he knew. That energy might really be enough to destroy this entire world. Just how am I supposed to take it? Looking at the giant Yun Yang Immortal Grass, Long Chen felt a chill. Even with his gods, he wasn't so sure about this. The giant divine pool was chained down together with the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. To take it was a crazy man's dream. Even if the Yun Yang Immortal Grass didn't resist, just by it being chained to this divine pool made Long Chen powerless. Those chains definitely had some terrifying restrictions. One mistake and he would lose his little life. Hello. How are you, little human? Just as Long Chen's head was spinning with ideas as to how he was supposed to move the Yun Yang Immortal Grass into the primal chaos space, its black and white lines quivered. Long Chen's body tightened, and he suddenly appeared at the center of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. At the same time, a voice rang out in his mind. Long Chen was shocked. He had been transported to the top of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass without the slightest bit of ability to resist. He was standing on one of its leaves on the white side that was filled with life energy. He didn't sense anything wrong with his body, but his heart was pounding crazily. Was this Yun Yang Immortal Grass actually some kind of terrifying tree demon? Ah, I'm doing all right, responded Long Chen. He knew that this voice was the Yun Yang Immortal Grass communicating with him. Space shook, the large sphere growing at the top of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass, which looked like its fruit, slowly shrunk. An elder with long facial hair actually appeared from within. The elder was half white and half black, looking bizarre. His face was lean, giving off a feeling of the immortal Tao. Senior, you are the Yun Yang Immortal Grass? You can control life and death? Can you make a person live forever? asked Long Chen curiously. The elder smiled faintly. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass is just a name from this star field. As for my real name, well, it's not important. Life and death energy truly can be controlled, but it must be within the scope that the heavenly deos permit. As for living forever, that's impossible. In this world, there is nothing that lives forever. The elder looked bizarre, but his words were kind. He wasn't at all overbearing or arrogant. He was just like an ordinary elder. Senior, what is going on here? Long Chen pointed down, indicating the chains. A scam, a trap. The elder sighed helplessly. 
A scam? A trap? You mean the entire yin yang world is a trap in and of itself? Asked Long Chen. Not just that. The elder shook his head. Not just that? Long Chen jumped. He vaguely felt a feeling of immense danger that made him very uneasy. Senior Long Chen wanted to keep asking questions, but the elder shook his head. Don't ask. You have something on you that isolates you from life and death energy. Even I am unable to see through your origins or your end. To have a treasure like that recognize you as its master, you must be a gamma breaker. That's why many things don't make a difference whether you know them or not. If I told you them, it would only draw karma. So it's not worth it. Little friend, our meeting is fate. If you can free me from my bindings, I will definitely give you a satisfactory reward. Me? Am I really capable of that? Long Chen was startled. This yin yang immortal grass was absolutely terrifying, but it had been bound here. How was he? A little soul transformation disciple supposed to help it it should be no problem you were able to cross the life and death barrier so this should all be faded if you came here but were unable to break the chains you wouldn't be able to gain anything that's not the style of fate i know that you have two friends outside the barrier one is hidden in a spiritual space but i still sense the spiritual fluctuations of the undying race this primal chaos divine elixir in the pool beneath me is the result of the yin-yang world's dual yin and yang springs merging together. There is life and death energy mixed in, and it is a priceless treasure to that undying friend of yours. It's enough to make it completely transform and control life and death energy. The reason I was transplanted here and chained is because every time the yin-yang fruit matures, they will come gather it and turn me into a slave. My yin-yang fruit is about to mature once more. Their plan has almost reached fruition. The great era has come again, and this might be the last time they're picking my yin-yang fruit. In other words, they will make sure to reap my life as well, said the elder. His voice was filled with helplessness, as well as a trace of hatred. There also seemed to be some kind of longing. Just who are they? Even you are unable to handle them, asked Long Chen. When I was caught, I was still young. I was powerless to resist. Now that I have the power to resist, I am chained and restricted. After all these years, I've learned many things. I only have one desire left, and that is to return to my home and take a look. I don't know whether my parents and brothers are still doing well, or even if that star field of ours is still present, sighed the elder. Little friend, if you can help free me, I can send the primal chaos divine elixir to your friend as well as transmit my understanding of life and death to it. I know your human race must comprehend life and death before entering the nether passage realm. If your friend absorbs this primal chaos divine elixir and receives my understanding of life and death, then it would be easy for it to allow anyone to comprehend life and death energy. However, the first precondition is that I cannot give you the yin-yang fruit. I need to use its power to break the void and leave this world. I need it to return to my star field, said the elder. Long Chen was astonished. Comprehending life and death would be easy? Then wouldn't that mean that all the dragonblood warriors could enter the Nether Passage Realm? The Nether Passage Realm was a giant dividing range in the cultivation world. Amongst 10,000 life star experts, there might not be a single one capable of comprehending life and death. That meant that they weren't even qualified to attempt breaking through to the Nether Passage Realm. So the Nether Passage Realm was something that made countless geniuses feel despair. However, the Yun Yang Immortal Grass was an existence in control of life and death energy. Long Chen trusted that it wouldn't lie to him. If he really could succeed, the Dragonblood Legion would be able to dominate the Martial Heaven Continent. Alright, I'll accept this. What do I do? Come with me. Suddenly, the two of them vanished. Long Chen felt like he was falling down a tube. After a moment, his vision became bright again. They had actually appeared within the pool. There was a giant platform here from which the chains were coming out. This is the core of the primal chaos divine pool. The chains are connected in a giant formation. As long as you can break a single one, the entire formation will become unbalanced. And I can break it to regain my freedom said the elder chapter 1866 no need to bow translator born to be long chen looked at the chain in front of him he had no idea what material it was made of 
but it looked extremely tough. Each chain was thicker than a house. To break such a chain was not easy. This chain's strength probably exceeded average divine items. I'm afraid that I won't be able to break it. Long Chen was solemn. The aura of these chains was too powerful. If he wanted to break it, he would probably need to use the seventh form of split the heavens. However, if he used the seventh form of split the heavens here, how would he face the experts outside? How would he face the other dangers here? The elder seemed to see through Long Chen's misjivings. You are the gamma breaker. You definitely have the power to do things that others cannot, to break rules that others cannot. In this I trust. Even if you must use a powerful self-harming technique, I can help you bear the cost. I won't let you suffer the slightest damage is that really possible asked Long Chen. Although I am powerless against the chains, my power can guarantee that you stay safe no matter what, promised the elder. Fine. Fuck. I'll go all out today. Old man, you better not have conned me. Long Chen raised Evil Moon. If Evil Moon was awake, then perhaps Long Chen would have confidence with its help. But it was in slumber, and everything was up to himself. His intuition told him that the elder wouldn't lie to him. Since he promised that everything would be fine, then Long Chen could test out the seventh form of Split the Heavens. A huge saber image appeared out of Evil Moon. At the same time, Long Chen's divine ring appeared, and five stars shone in his eyes. When he saw Long Chen's divine ring, the elder's pupils shrank. He seemed to realize something, and his mouth opened, but at this moment, Long Chen roared, slashing Evil Moon down at the chain. Boom. The saber image slashed into the chain, causing this entire underwater world to explode. Even the yin-yang immortal grass shook fiercely. At some point, the elder had placed a hand on Long Chen's back. That was a hand as wide as jade, and gentle energy poured into Long Chen's body. The huge backlash from using the seventh form of split the heavens had yet to tear through Long Chen's body when this gentle energy sucked it all away. How powerful. Long Chen was stunned by the Yin Yang Immortal Grass's abilities. If he had its assistance, wouldn't he be able to freely unleash the seventh form of split the heavens? He could directly kill whoever he found displeasing. His admiration for the Yin Yang Immortal Grass grew stronger, and he had another thought, but regretfully. He saw that his attack did not shatter the chain. Again, Long Chen raised Evil Moon once more. In any case, with the Yun Yang Immortal Grass helping him shoulder the injury, he didn't mind hacking at it a few more times. He was just wasting a bit of spiritual Yuan. It just so happened that he could get accustomed to this technique. No need. You've already succeeded. Cracks have appeared in the chain. The elder waved his hand, his voice quivering with excitement. Little friend. Thank you. There is no way to express my gratitude. I hope one day you can break this death game, and we will meet again in some other star field. Senior, you're too courteous. Furthermore, we're working together, each for our own profit. About that, he, I'm a bit embarrassed, but I know you're not a petty person. So, I was wondering if you could give one of your roots to me, asked Long Chen with a thick face. The elder smiled and said, that's no problem. A single root won't affect my power much. I just need enough to break through the barrier of this world. However, I should tell you that while my root can exist on its own, it takes an enormous amount of life and death energy to nourish, or it will quickly wither and die. Other than that, even if you did have a method to nourish it, it would take an extremely long time to grow. With a human's longevity, a hundred thousand years is nothing to it. Don't waste time on growing the root if it distracts you from important things. The elder's meaning was clear. Long Chen should spend his time on other things rather than wasting it on growing the root. He didn't have enough time to mature it. He, I know. All I need is the tiniest bit. I still want to try even if I might not succeed, said Long Chen. His primal chaos space had soil filled with life energy, and the black soil that devoured all life which could represent death energy. If he planted it between the two sides, wouldn't it have both life and death energy? All right, then it seems I was worried for nothing. The elder smiled and extended a hand. It held out over a hundred roots as thin as a hair. Long Chen jumped. These roots were being compressed by a spatial law. In truth, each one of them was thicker than a foot and many meters long. Many thanks. Senior Long Chen received one of the roots. 
and his hand sank. That root was heavier than a mountain. At the same time, its life and death energy almost caused his palm to split open. He hastily sent it into the primal chaos space. He planted it on the border of the black soil. However, even after planting it, there wasn't any reaction. He didn't know if it would survive. I'm not in a rush to leave. That girl should be your friend. Correct the elder waved his hand, revealing an image of Chu Yao. Yes, it's her. Long Chen nodded. All right. Space shook ever so slightly. Chu Yao, who was outside the light pillar, vanished and reappeared at the bottom of the divine pool. She was shocked and was forming a hand seal when she saw Long Chen smiling at her. He, have Ruian come out. Her opportunity has come. Lu Ruian came out without waiting for Long Chen. Feeling the energy of primal chaos surrounding her, her icy face finally smiled. A member of the undying race. Yes, your root is very good and contains a trace of the immortal spirit bloodline. It seems your origins aren't simple. The elder nodded at Lu Ruian with a trace of praise. Lu Ruian greets senior the normally prideful Lu Ruian actually bowed respectfully toward the elder. That display was one of respect and admiration. No need to bow Long Chen was standing beside the elder, and he graciously accepted this bow. Bastard, are you looking for a beating? The previously respectful Lu Ruian instantly turned hostile. Chu Yao was holding back laughter to the side. She knew that Lu Ruian's impression of Long Chen had always been bad. After all, she had once lost to him and was very irritated by that defeat. She had always been looking to get back at him for this. However, Long Chen was a slippery scoundrel, not letting Lu Ruian get any advantage. Each time, he teased Lu Ruian to the point of exploding. She was already used to it. Harud, if it weren't for me, would you have been able to come here? Shouldn't I accept your thanks? Is this how the undying race repays its favors? HMPH, my eyes have been opened to the world. What? You want to bite me ah? Uh? Long Chen suddenly shouted as Lu Ruian really bit him. His outstretched hand was instantly taken advantage of. Lu Ruian was an undying willow, and she transformed her teeth into wooden thorns, instantly piercing his palm. You foolish girl, why are you learning from Guo Ran? But when he bites people, he always bites the butt. Aya shouted Long Chen as Lu Ruian bit down harder. This was a very difficult to imagine scene. A beautiful woman was fiercely biting a man's hand. All right, both of you, stop. Do you want the senior to laugh at you? Chu Yao pulled the two of them apart. She's the one biting me, grumbled Long Chen, looking at his bleeding hand. You, Lu Ruian almost pounced back at Long Chen, but she was held back by Chu Yao. Senior, I've made you laugh. This lowly wife of mine doesn't have experience and is rude. Please don't blame her. Long Chen apologized to the elder but pushed all the responsibility onto Lu Ruian. The elder simply smiled slightly. There's nothing for me to laugh at. When I was young, I also had companions like you, brothers and sisters. However, it's been far, far too long since I've spoken with them. I really envy you, and I am grateful. Only now did Chu Yao and Lu Ruian learn that this terrifying Yun Yang immortal grass was actually enslaved here by others. They both felt empathy. Come, little girl, your power is limited and you cannot absorb this much primal chaos divine elixir at once. I will help you, in a bit. Bring out your true body and absorb as much as you can. Once you can't absorb any more, I will seal the remaining amount inside your body so you can slowly absorb it in the future. We should be quick to avoid the disturbance here drawing the other side's attention. If that happens, I might be able to escape, but the rest of you will be in danger, said the elder. Long Chen's heart shook. Lu Ruian didn't waste any more time. Her figure vanished, replaced with a towering willow. The willow was giant but still appeared small when compared to the Yun Yang immortal grass. Lu Ruian sent her roots into the divine pool. Runes began revolving around her entire body as she began rapidly absorbing the primal chaos divine elixir. Chapter 1867 Phantom Blood Locusts Translator Born to be as Lu Ruian summoned her true body and began to absorb the pool. The water level slowly fell. Her whole body was shining, and a dragon scale pattern began to appear on her bark. The air of primal chaos covered her completely, and a holy light began to shine from her. 
as if she had awakened as an immortal spirit, as if she no longer belonged to the mortal world. As the primal chaos energy entered her body, Long Chen saw black-white surges of energy intertwining in her branches. Chu Yao watched excitedly. This was a huge opportunity for Lu Ruyan. She would be completely transformed afterward. However, after around a quarter of the divine pool was absorbed, the water level stopped descending. Lu Ruyan was covered in immortal mist, and faint black and white marks had appeared on her leaves. She had reached her limit and could not absorb any more. Prepare yourself. I will help you. The elder pressed his palms against each other. The leaves of the giant yin-yang immortal grass wrapped around Lu Ruyan. In front of the yin-yang immortal grass, even Lu Ruyan's true body seemed tiny. The black and white leaves had divine runes flow out of them, condensing into whirlpools that poured the divine elixir into Lu Ruyan's body. The water level rapidly sank. In just a few seconds, it reached the bottom. Only now did Chu Yao see that there were two spring openings at the bottom. White liquid-like milk bubbled out of one, while black liquid-like squid ink came from the other. The speed at which these two liquids came out was extremely slow. Based on that speed, it would take tens of thousands of years to fill this pool up. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass's leaves released Lu Ruyan. She returned to her human form, but a black and white mark had appeared on her forehead. That was the seal that the Yun Yang Immortal Grass had left in her. The remaining divine elixir was locked inside that seal so that she could slowly absorb it. Suddenly, Lu Ruyan sent a palm at Long Chen, and caught by surprise, he was sent flying into the distance. Lu Ruyan's palm had contained some kind of strange energy, and Long Chen felt his blood flipping inside him. He was about to burst into curses when Lu Ruyan knelt on the ground toward the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. Her palms pressed against each other. Many thanks. Senior Luru Ayan was filled with gratitude for this elder. He had not just sealed the divine elixir inside her, but he had also transmitted his understanding of life and death, yin and yang, growth and decay, all his life's understanding to her. Although she was not at the level where she could understand it at all yet, she could slowly comprehend it in the future, and she would sooner or later reach that height. This was something that would benefit her for a lifetime and could already be called the inheritance of a master to a disciple. Seeing this, Long Chen couldn't say anything. Lu Ruyan had knocked him away to prevent him from taking advantage like he just had. Child, rise. I'm ashamed. This is simply my agreement with this little friend. If you want to thank someone, you should thank him, said the elder, raising Lu Ruyan up. Lu Ruyan stood. She nodded slightly to Long Chen without looking at him, and that was it. Long Chen was still waiting for Lu Ruyan to apologize, but she didn't even look at him. Rolling his eyes inside, he decided not to quibble with her over this. To the elder, he said, Senior we can speak spiritually the elder directly switched to spiritual communication. Long Chen was startled. However, using the same kind of spiritual communication, he said, I want to know what the Gamma Breaker means. I've heard it several times now. He had heard this from the Ascender in the Four Nations Ancient Remnant, and Sovereign Yun Shang had also brought it up. It seemed others had also mentioned it, but even now, he didn't know what it meant. The world is like a chessboard. Everyone is a piece that has their own fate. The lines of life and death have already been set. However, some people are not within the plan but are still on the board. Such people are called Gamma Breakers. Then this so-called game, who set it up, asked Long Chen. Some games are made by people, some are made by the heavens. However, no matter who set it up, the Gamma Breakers always bring disorder. They are not accepted by heaven or earth, and so they face endless calamities. They are fated to have lives of trouble and misfortune. For you to have grown to your current height, I'm sure you're already aware of this. Gamma Breakers break the chessboard and change the fate of the world. The more the Gamma Breakers grow, the more they will change the world, and the more they will influence the final outcome of the board. So your path will only become more dangerous. There are only two possibilities. You will either topple this world, or the world will destroy you, said the Elder. Other than that, I see something legendary on your body, so there are many things I cannot say. I dare not say. What I can say is that the board is about to reach its final stage. If you don't topple the board, you will be destroyed by the board. 
Long Chen's heart shook. He suddenly recalled that voice that occasionally appeared in his head that constantly said that the time was almost up. Was it referring to this board? Young friend, thank you. Thank you for giving me a chance to return home. I will forever remember you. Hopefully, you can topple this chessboard and survive. I hope we can meet again. The elder slowly rose. His body lit up, and he merged into the yin-yang immortal grass. I'm going to break the chains. When the chains are broken, the formation will crumble. There is a horde of locusts on a mountain not far from here. They will be woken when the formation crumbles. And those locusts are more difficult to handle than the magical beasts. You should be careful. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass's voice rang out in their ears. This was its final goodbye. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass's whole body began quivering crazily. The chains beneath it were pulled taut, and the earth began shuddering as well. There was one runic chain amongst those countless chains that was already dim. Cracks began growing all along it. That was the chain that Long Chen had struck. That chain suddenly shattered due to the Yun Yang Immortal Grass's power. Then a chain reaction followed. All the chains shuddered, and one by one, they shattered. Goodbye. Let me thank you once more. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass explosively grew. It broke through the sky. The formation of the light pillar was shattered, and the entire world trembled fiercely. Mountains crumbled. The earth sank. It was like the world was about to be destroyed. Those experts on the outside had started panicking when they saw Chu Yao be summoned inside by the Yun Yang Immortal Grass. However, now as the formation broke, they simply stood there in dumb shock. The power of the Yun Yang Immortal Grass made them feel like a mountain was crushing them. Even moving a finger was difficult. At this moment, whoever still had any intention of snatching the Yun Yang Immortal Grass would really be an idiot. Something on that level wasn't anything that they could touch. Only now did they find just how foolish their previous thinking was. The formation exploded, and even the stars in the sky were shaking. After that, a giant hole appeared in the void, and the Yun Yang Immortal Grass slowly entered it. In the end, it vanished within the hole. The Yun Yang Immortal Grass was gone, and the terrifying pressure had faded. The world was peaceful. However, after that intense shaking, the earth was sundered and the mountains had collapsed. Long Chen's still present. Kill him. He has definitely obtained some treasure. One sharp-eyed fellow noticed that Long Chen, Chu Yao, and Lu Ruian were still present. Although they didn't know what had just happened, they knew that Long Chen had definitely gained something good. All their eyes turned red with greed. Fuck. It's been a long time since I had a slaughter. Come. My blade has long since grown thirsty. Long Chen rose into the air. Evil Moon on his shoulder. Did they really think he was so easy to bully? Seeing Long Chen still standing there, that expert from Pill Valley smiled coldly. Holding his blood red flame spear, he took the lead in charging at Long Chen. Boom. Just as a great battle was about to erupt, the ground exploded, revealing a giant hole. A group of fist sized locusts flew out. Their bodies were golden, but compared to ordinary locusts, they had a pair of pincers on their mouths that flickered with a cold light while the rest of them looked like they were made of gold. Only their pincers were blood-colored. Heavens! Phantom blood locusts! Shouted someone in a panic. Phantom blood locusts might normally be golden, but when they attacked, blood-colored runes would appear on their wings, making them appear scarlet. Their golden color was what they looked like normally, but once they changed color, it meant that they were infuriated. The phantom blood locusts soared out, filling the sky like a giant wave. They charged at the experts present. Fuck. I actually forgot. Long Chen clapped his leg. He had actually forgotten the Yun Yang Immortal Grass's warning about the locusts. Seeing these phantom blood locusts, his face turned green. These things were even more terrifying than the 12th rank magical beasts. Ah. The phantom blood locusts were incredibly quick. A powerful Empyrean was surrounded in an instant. And while he crazily fought. There were too many phantom blood locusts. One of them bit his leg, and with a scream, his entire body stiffened. Then the phantom blood locusts enveloped him, and when they left, he was gone. Not even a bone was left. Run. Long Chen pulled Chu Yao and Lu Ruian away, running as fast as he could. Chapter 1868 Pill Valley's Huo Li Ian Translator Born to be a H. Fuck. 
How can they ignore our defenses? No. Startled and frightened cries rang out. The phantom blood locusts were a strange kind of insect. While they were also classified as magical beasts, they were oddities, equally as famous as the heaven-devouring ants. Even if a more powerful magical beast encountered them, they would flee. The phantom blood locust's mouth contained powerful runes that could tear through armor. A twelfth rank magical beast would instantly turn into a skeleton in the face of millions of phantom blood locusts. As for human experts, unless they had armor on the level of divine items, they wouldn't even be left with a skeleton. Once bitten by their pincers, your entire body would stiffen, your Yuan spirit would freeze, and that would spell defeat. The phantom blood locusts were nightmares amongst magical beasts. Magical beasts like the phantom blood locust normally weren't called magical beasts. They were different from other magical beasts like centipedes, scorpions, or spiders. That was because they didn't have crystal cores, and all their energy was concentrated in their mouths. That was an innate kind of terrifying power. Some people joked that whatever god had made this world had made a mistake and accidentally created a few things that even they themselves didn't understand. These phantom blood locusts were one of those existences. Rumors were that they were viewed as an invasive species back in ancient times and were hunted down. The phantom blood locusts were capable of devouring all life from a world. They bred quickly, and if they were allowed freedom, a world could meet with catastrophe. In comparison, the heaven-devouring ants were a bit better. They were simply very territorial, but as long as you didn't step into their territory or kill them, they would only start hunting when they were hungry, and their main prey was underground ores. Flesh was just a portion of their diet. The heaven-devouring ants didn't randomly increase their territory, and they bred slowly. So the phantom blood locusts were far worse. A plague, a nightmare, an apocalyptic catastrophe for a world. Of course, any knowledge of the phantom blood locusts was only within some ancient murals. They were important enough to include in murals because there were several times in human history when the phantom blood locusts had appeared causing the human race to pay a great price to exterminate them. As for now, no one had expected there to be so many phantom blood locusts sleeping underground. Like an overturned ant nest, everyone fled. However, the ground continued to explode, and phantom blood locusts came from every direction. They were extremely fast, and when they spread their wings, countless afterimages would appear. That was where the phantom in their name came from. Most frightening of all. The people had no idea just how many phantom blood locusts were still hidden underground. The ground was constantly splitting open, revealing large caves which they were flying out of. Chu Yao, you and Ru Ian go in the direction of the exit, said Long Chen. Then what are you going to do? asked Chu Yao. That idiot from the Blood Kill Hall has set his sights on me. He has some kind of secret art concealing his presence. I can only vaguely sense that he is approaching me but I can't narrow down his location. I will find some way to draw him out. He's too dangerous, so I want to eliminate him now. Long Chen had sharp senses toward the Blood Kill Hall's people, so he was never afraid of them. However, this fellow was actually able to block himself from his senses, meaning that he was definitely a terrifying assassin. Such a person was too dangerous. He wasn't worried for himself but he was worried about the assassin targeting others. Chu Yao was a wood cultivator and had sharp senses toward assassinations. She also had Lu Ruian. Perhaps that person was unable to do anything to Chu Yao. However, in a chaotic fight, such a person was too dangerous. He would definitely choose to target soul cultivators like Men Qi and Xia Chen. So he was worried. Then be careful. Chu Yao nodded, knowing what he was thinking. Do you need my help? Surprisingly Lu Ruian took the initiative to ask. No, the phantom blood locusts are too powerful, and just one bite can be fatal. I would rather you protect Chu Yao. I will handle the blood kill halls braggart, said Long Chen. Boom. Long Chen slashed Evil Moon, and a fierce Saber Chi slashed a line through the phantom blood locusts. However, even this attack only created a narrow opening. Other phantom blood locusts away from the center weren't killed and were only knocked away. The path quickly shrank. The phantom blood locusts were also tough, and they would normally only die if struck by the core of an attack. 
Any shockwaves or such were unable to kill them. Curious. Long Chen's expression changed slightly. What is it? Asked Chu Yao. Where is Yi Lingxian? She came with me. But we split up after I went to look for you. She's not here. Even after such a long time, there was no sign of her. At first, he had thought that she was hiding, and he had been waiting to receive her at any moment. However, even when his divine sense swept through the battlefield, he didn't notice Yi Lingxian. With her power, there were only a handful of individuals capable of threatening her. Her safety shouldn't be a problem, but she still hadn't appeared. He didn't understand. Could an accident have befallen her? Asked Chu Yao. No. Yi Lingxian is also an expert who killed her way up step by step. She definitely has ways to protect herself. Perhaps she found some kind of special opportunity of her own, said Long Chen. He led the two of them through the phantom blood locusts. More and more of them appeared, and Long Chen repeatedly slashed his sword, killing a way through. Just as Long Chen was attacking, space twisted, and a sword silently pierced toward his back. It was aimed precisely for the most difficult place for Long Chen to block or dodge. HMPH, you finally can't wait any longer, Long Chen sneered. There was no time to use Evil Moon to block. A golden dragon tooth suddenly appeared in the space beside him. That blood kill Hall's assassin's expression changed. He hastily blocked the tooth, but he was blown back. He almost coughed up blood. While assassinating, his energy was all concentrated within himself to avoid being sensed. Even though he was a powerful Empyrean, he hadn't unleashed his manifestation. So in a direct clash, assassins were at a disadvantage. If he summoned his manifestation, then such a huge disturbance was something only a dead person wouldn't sense. How was he supposed to sneak attack like that? The Blood Kill Hall had a secret art that allowed their assassins to merge with their manifestations. However, limiting their manifestations power like that to keep it hidden meant that they could only use 50% of its power. What the Blood Kill Hall's experts pursued was assassination arts, not power, and their defensive power was extremely low. So this dragon tooth attack almost made him cough up blood. Today, I'll see if I can beat any piss out of you. After the dragon tooth attack, Long Chen unleashed a tempest of attacks with Evil Moon. While Long Chen attacked the blood kill hall's expert, Lu Rui informed hand seals, and willow leaves appeared, wrapping around her and Chu Yao. Those willow leaves had black and white marks on them. They emitted a sharp aura. When they smashed into the phantom blood locusts, the phantom blood locusts were forced back. It would be difficult to kill them, but forcing a way through them was enough. Following Long Chen's directions, they charged out, taking advantage of while the phantom blood locusts had yet to fully fill the surroundings, or they really would be in danger. There were just too many of them. Some of the phantom blood locusts would manage to latch onto the leaves they smashed into and bite them. Those leaves would immediately wither away into nothingness. They were practically endless, but fortunately Lu Ruiyan also had many leaves to take out. She was entirely able to keep up with this. Lu Ruiyan and Chu Yao charged out, while Long Chen was unleashing waves of Saber Chi to trap the assassin. That assassin's expression was icy. With Long Chen sealing his movements, he couldn't retreat. He could only unleash his manifestation and fight all out. What surprised Long Chen was that even without his assassination arts, this blood kill hall expert was still very powerful. His sword arts were sharp and vicious. Even in a head-on battle, Long Chen was unable to suppress him. Now he knew that the name of the blood kill hall's three divine emissaries was not for nothing. They were powerful whether in terms of a head-on battle or a hidden assassination. The thing that gave him the biggest headache was that he couldn't unleash any stronger moves because those moves took time to cast. The assassin might take advantage of that opening to flee. To kill a powerful assassin required one to unleash a tempest of attacks that didn't give them any breathing room. Hence, Long Chen couldn't let up even the slightest bit, or the assassin would slip away. Next time, it would be even more difficult to catch him. Saber light and sword images repeatedly clashed, unleashing chi waves that blew back the phantom blood locusts. The surging chi waves shocked the fleeing experts. These two were true experts. They actually dared to ignore the phantom blood locusts filling this space. It had to be known that for them, 
Just blocking the locusts was already done nervously. They were afraid of being bitten by one and losing their life as a result. However, Long Chen and this expert of the blood kill hall were fighting intensely while ignoring the phantom blood locusts. Just from that, it was possible to see the difference between them. Suddenly, a mass of phantom blood locusts blew apart. A flame spear pierced through the air at Long Chen. Long Chen, I, Huo Lian, will make you die a miserable death today for insulting Pill Valley. That expert from Pill Valley's Flame Divine Palace suddenly killed his way over, unleashing a frightening attack. Chapter 1869 A Great Battle Begins Translator Born to be the raging flame spear pierced toward Long Chen. Its terrifying heat roasted the air and caused space to twist. Even the phantom blood locusts were blown apart. Huo Lian was surrounded by flames. His manifestation was active behind him, and within it was a person sitting cross-legged. That figure was like a god, and its divine might shook the sky. Boom. Black flame surged out of Evil Moon, and Long Chen slashed the flame spear. It was like a sun had exploded, and the surrounding phantom blood locusts were incinerated. The instant Long Chen faced Huo Lian's spear, the blood kill hall's man killer vanished. His aura was completely gone. Long Chen's expression was slightly grave. Enemies he could face openly weren't frightening. However, to have an assassin lying in wait as he fought all out against someone else was definitely dangerous. That had the possibility of killing him. Good. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame will be changing masters today. Huo Lian pointed his flame spear at Long Chen. His eyes were shining greedily. After all, Long Chen's Black Illusion Dragon Flame was something any flame cultivator would long for. If you have the ability, then come and take it, said Long Chen indifferently. He might be a terrifying expert, but Long Chen wasn't afraid of him. From the previous exchange, Long Chen had confirmed that Huo Lian was an expert on the same level as Zi Luo and the others. He hadn't expected Pill Valley to be hiding such a terrifying expert. It seemed that he had underestimated them. However, even facing Huo Lian and the Blood Kill Hall's divine emissary together, all he felt was soaring battle intent. His soul began to heat up and the warlike blood flowing through his bones was activating. Having such a nice place as your burial grounds is your luck, shouted Huo Lian. My bones aren't so easy to bury. Of course, if you have the ability, you can try. Speaking of which, I have a question. Has the pill fairy come? Probed Long Chen. Shut up. The pill fairy isn't someone an idiot like you can touch. As soon as Long Chen mentioned the pill fairy, Huo Lian seemed to become an angry lion. With a furious roar, his flame spear pierced toward Long Chen. She's also not someone an idiot like you can touch. Long Chen instantly understood. Black flames erupted out of Evil Moon, transforming it into a giant black flame blade. Boom. When Evil Moon and the flame spear collided, the earth crumbled beneath them. Black and red flames surged out in every direction. This place instantly became a sea of flames that incinerated the phantom blood locusts. Long Chen's flame was ranked second on the earth flame rankings, and its power was enough to burn the sky and vaporize seas. As for Huo Lian's blood-colored flame, it was a kind of core flame. One of Huo Lian's ancestors had been the trusted general of a god, and this core flame was that god's blessing. It contained a trace of divine power. This kind of core flame could continuously refine other flames, merging them all into his bloodline. It was a bit similar to how Huo Long continuously absorbed other earth flames. Therefore, Huo Lian was a secret weapon that Pill Valley had been nurturing, and he possessed a natural advantage from birth. All kinds of earth flames had been given to him, whatever he wanted. His core flame contained the earth flames of every flame cultivator on the Martial Heaven continent. However, even though Pill Valley had done their best to create such a genius, some things just couldn't be bought with money. The Black Illusion Dragon Flame and the Heaven Incinerating Flame in Long Chen's hands were things that Huo Lian did not possess. If his core flame could absorb the Black Illusion Dragon Flame, his combat power would instantly leap to a higher level. That was another one of Huo Lian's goals in coming into the Yin Yang world. He wanted Long Chen's life, as well as his Earth Flame. Huo Lian repeatedly struck with his spear, and Evil Moon shuddered as it blocked. Black and red flames continued to clash, spreading spheres of flames around. 
Bastard. You're just trash not worth mentioning. All you relied on was luck. Do you think you're qualified to be the toad lusting after the swan? Roared Hugh O'Leon. His expression twisted with rage. Hugh O'Leon was the descendant of one of the Flame Divine Palace's Grand Elders, and he would be the future commander of the Flame Divine Palace. It could be said that the Flame Divine Palace was Pill Valley's secret army. Although many of Pill Valley's alchemy elders looked down on the Flame Divine Palace since they couldn't refine pills, even those elders know that the connection between Pill Valley and the Flame Divine Palace was not so simple. In the Flame Divine Palace's view, their number one expert, Hugh O'Leon, was a natural match for the genius Pill Fairy. One had unrivaled alchemy arts, and the other had dominating combat power. In truth, even those living fossils of the Flame Divine Palace and Pill Valley hoped to see the two of them end up together. When Pill Valley arranged to bring out their secret weapon, Hugh O'Leon, they had arranged for the two of them to meet. It could be considered playing matchmaker. Regretfully, the Pill Fairy remained indifferent to Hugh O'Leon the entire time. Finally, Hugh O'Leon couldn't help expressing his adoration of her. Then, he was directly refused by the Pill Fairy. She was known in Pill Valley to be a kind person who never spoke so bluntly. However, Hugh O'Leon was the first one to face her cold disdain. She directly told him never to bother her again. Back then, Hugh O'Leon was startled and angry, as well as too embarrassed to show himself. He was a supreme expert and felt that he was the only one worthy of her. So he asked her why she had refused him. How was he lacking? Her response was simple. She said that there was only one person worthy of her, and no one else was qualified to stand alongside him. When she said this, Hugh O'Leon immediately walked away in a fury. He knew that the Pill Fairy was talking about Long Chen. That was because the Pill Fairy had encountered Long Chen in the Skywood Divine Palace and recognized him to be Long San who had caused a huge mess in Pill Valley. Back then, Long San was rumored to have received the Pill Fairy's affection. After that, the news that Long San was actually Long Chen caused huge waves. During the Jade Lake pageant, Long Chen had even given the Pill Fairy a flower, telling her a beautiful and poignant love story. It was said that the Pill Fairy had cried tears of emotion at that time. Perhaps she had completely fallen in love with him. These rumors weren't just being discussed in the outside world, but it was stealthily discussed within Pill Valley as well. As a result, the elders harshly berated those gossipers and some of them were even expelled from Pill Valley. Only then did that gossip come to an end. All of this was originally just gossip that Hugh O'Leon had heard, but when the Pill Fairy personally confirmed the rumors, his fury soared. At that time, Hugh O'Leon burst into curses, saying that Long Chen was garbage, a coward, and a piece of trash that he could kill with a single hand. As for the Pill Fairy, she merely smiled indifferently without saying anything. That silent disdain added oil to the fire, and Hugh O'Leon was so angry that he had attacked the Pill Fairy. It was said that the battle had just started before it was stopped by the Valley Master. After scolding the two of them, the matter had come to an end. However, Hugh O'Leon never forgot about it, and now the person he hated the most was before him. Originally, Hugh O'Leon had been able to maintain the image of an expert, but as soon as Long Chen brought up the Pill Fairy, he was like an erupting volcano. It was like Long Chen had slain his father. He wanted to kill Long Chen, but he also felt like that alone wouldn't resolve his hatred. He had an urge to tear Long Chen apart, bit by bit. The matter of Pill Fairy had been the first and greatest blow in his life, and he was unable to accept it. Their spear and saber repeatedly clashed, unleashing waves of flames. The phantom blood locusts now no longer dared to get close and they flew into the distance. The Empyreans were delighted to see this. They had been surrounded and unable to break through the layers of phantom blood locusts. Now, they were standing on the edge of the battlefield where the flames were intense. The phantom blood locusts didn't dare to get close, while they were able to resist. That was much safer than braving the millions of phantom blood locusts themselves. It had only been a short incense stick's worth of time since the phantom blood locusts had appeared but over 30 of them had died. Their corpses were gone, and their Yuan spirits were extinguished. Fortunately, a small portion of them had managed to flee in time before the phantom blood locusts completed their encirclement. 
However, the majority had not been able to escape. They were stuck standing on the edge of the battlefield, watching Long Chen's fight while staying on guard against the Phantom Blood Locusts. People have been saying that Pill Valley's been hiding their true power. It seems the rumors are true. This Huo Lian was completely unknown before this, but he's so powerful. Exactly. The power of Pill Valley isn't something outsiders can see. Pill Valley has always been the main supplier of the Martial Heaven Continent's medicinal pills, and their wealth is terrifying. After so many years, just how much money have they accumulated? Can the Zhuanshan Dao sect or the Martial Heaven Alliance even compare to them? He, now I'll get to see how long Chen dies. There's also that divine emissary of the Blood Kill Hall hiding around here. I wonder whether Long Chen will die to Huo Lian or that assassin. Boom. Just at this moment, a huge explosive sound rang out. The two of their weapons emitted blazing divine light. Chapter 1870 Power of the Dragon Teeth Translator Born to be the divine ring behind Long Chen shook, and five stars revolved in his eyes. At this moment, black flames continuously spurted out of Evil Moon, and a vague dragon cry could be heard. Huo Long was also unleashing all of its power. Boom. Their weapons once more clashed. Both of them were blown back, and each of them took nine steps to pull apart some distance. When Long Chen reached his ninth step, before even stabilizing, he suddenly slashed Evil Moon behind him. Flames exploded out of Evil Moon, sending the Blood Kill Hall's divine emissary flying. Scram. You shameful thing. Long Chen snorted. Then. The assassin really did scram. He vanished in midair. The surrounding experts were surprised that Long Chen was able to handle the assassin's sneak attack. He was one of their three divine emissaries, and his attack was perfectly timed, but Long Chen seemed to have expected it. Just this one swing of his saber made people feel a chill. His fame was not for nothing. Boom. Long Chen had just forced back the assassin when Huo Lian attacked with his spear. This time, his Yuan spirit was summoned. His Yuan spirit was forming hand seals, and sacred chanting filled the air. The Nirvana scripture? I know it too. Long Chen also summoned his Yuan spirit and activated the Nirvana scripture. With the two of them activating the scripture at once, it was as if countless invisible gods were present throughout this world, all chanting in unison. The world shuddered as endless flame energy surged toward the two of them. It was like oil had been thrown onto their flame energy. The entire world almost ignited. Heavens, what terrifying flame energy. Startle cries rang out as the land began to melt and the sky started to twist. How can Long Chen know the Nirvana scripture as well? Shocked cries rang out when the experts saw Long Chen use an identical move. Moreover, the majority of the flame energy was flowing toward Long Chen's side. Apparently. Long Chen once went undercover in Pill Valley under the guise of Long San. He not only caused a ruckus, but he also captured the heart of the Pill Fairy. Rumor is that the Pill Fairy taught him the Nirvana scripture personally in truth. His Nirvana scripture was something he had obtained from the Heaven Dragon Flame region. However, once his identity as Long San was exposed, people's imaginations were unlimited. There were rumors that it was taught to him by the Pill Fairy. He's so lucky. Are all those women blind? How did they fall for him? I don't see anything attractive about him. Cursed an expert from the ancient family alliance. If your face wasn't so pockmarked and you could fix your cross eyes, perhaps you'd be able to compete with Long Chen. Sneered someone from the corrupt path. Hearing someone so ugly actually say something like this. Even the corrupt path's people weren't able to endure it. Bastard. Are you looking for trouble? Raged the pockmarked man. In truth, his pockmarks weren't pockmarks. They were an innate kind of heavenly darun and a mark of his inherited bloodline. As for his crossed eyes, they were a special divine ability that could overlap two images in the space before him. When fighting, it could throw his enemies off, and it was a huge advantage. However, this person from the corrupt path actually mocked him using the two things that he was most proud of. The others all retreated a step. This place had gathered people from all the large powers. The righteous path and the corrupt path were here. However, the ones from the righteous path were all experts that had betrayed the Martial Heaven Alliance. Anyone who stayed loyal to the Martial Heaven Alliance here had fled or been killed. This was also why when Long Chen had entered this place, 
he had seen all the people from the righteous path staring at him with wariness and even hostility. Just as the two of them began an intense fight in the sky, a third figure appeared within the flames. At some point, the assassin had failed a sneak attack and even been injured. Hence, he had chosen to give up on sneak attacking and was fighting openly. What he didn't know was that before this, Long Chen had scattered medicinal powder in the air that was invisible, odorless, and posed no harmful effects. However, it could sink into a person's skin without them noticing it. Relying on his mental connection to the medicinal powder, he was able to accurately pinpoint the assassin's location and give him a serious injury. The assassin had then sensed that something was wrong and switched to a frontal assault. His manifestation appeared, and there was a strange image within it. It looked like the eyes of a fiend. Each time he swung his sword, strange runes would light up in those eyes, and identical runes would flash on his sword. Each swing of his light sword was actually able to block Evil Moon. That was clearly a kind of secret art, or there was no way he would be able to block Long Chen's explosive power. I want him alive, shouted Huo Lian, clearly to the assassin. As for the assassin, he didn't reply. He didn't agree or refuse. It was unknown what his intentions were. Boom. Long Chen forced away Huo Lian's spear with a swing of Evil Moon, at the same time dodging the assassin's sword. He sneered. Are you planning on exhausting me to capture me alive? Your imagination really is powerful. Since that's the case, show me just what trump cards you have to be so arrogant. Long Chen's divine ring began to spin rapidly. His 108,000 stars instantly burst forth with power. A giant golden dragon tooth suddenly pierced toward Huo Lian with a blazing light. The roar of a dragon could vaguely be heard. The tooth was like an arrow, instantly arriving in front of Huo Lian. He was startled. As before this, the power of the dragon tooth hadn't been so great. He hastily blocked. His flame spear exploded, and a burst of dragon might also erupted. However, once the flames blew by, it revealed another spear within his flame spear. His flame spear wasn't actually a spirit weapon but a true divine item. It was just that it had been covered with flames. When the dragon tooth struck the spear's true body, a metallic ringing rang out. The sound of metal clashing against metal caused people to wince. Huo Lian was knocked into the distance. His expression changed slightly, as he hadn't expected the dragon tooth to possess such power. Just as Long Chen forced back Huo Lian, he swung Evil Moon with an angry roar. All his power burst forth. Split the heavens six. Killing God Void Breaking Slash. The assassin snorted, and divine light erupted from his sword. Long Chen's saber image actually shattered upon contact with that sword light. His arms trembled, and he coughed up a mouthful of blood. Fuck. It's the power of a divine item. Cursed Long Chen inside. The assassin had activated the power of his divine item. Which was why Long Chen was at a disadvantage. Evil Moon was still in slumber and couldn't help him in the same way. He wouldn't be able to get any advantage fighting like this. Seeing Long Chen cough up blood, all the experts watching smiled. In their eyes, Long Chen would find it difficult to flee. Everyone had spread out and surrounded the battlefield, not giving him any chance to run. Long Chen, there's nowhere for you to go. Your divine item is just a decoration Huo Lian laughed, knocking aside the dragon tooth. His spear came stabbing toward Long Chen. This time, blood-colored runes on Huo Lian's spear lit up, and divine might raged. Clearly, he had also seen the problem with Evil Moon and knew that he could take advantage of it. Normally, these experts wouldn't be willing to activate their divine items unless they had no choice. That was because they weren't Nether Passage experts. Activating their divine items not only required a huge amount of spiritual yuan, but it also exhausted the divine item's core energy. If this core energy was not replenished in a timely fashion, it would gravely affect the divine item's power. However, Huo Lian's vision was sharp, and he immediately saw through the problem with Evil Moon. So he directly activated the power of his divine item. With an explosive sound, Long Chen was sent flying again coughing up more blood. He was unable to activate the divine power of his weapon. As he flew back, Long Chen hastily sent the dragon tooth to block Huo Lian, but Huo Lian knocked it away with his spear. He attacked Long Chen once again. Worst of all, 
Behind Long Chen was the assassin, his sword unleashing divine light. He was facing enemies from the front and behind. Fuck. I'll go all out. Long Chen suddenly let out a shout. Ignoring Huo Lian's spear, he actually slashed his saber directly at the assassin, seeming to want to die together with him. The assassin smiled derisively. The light of his sword shifted, and he actually switched to defense. He naturally wouldn't sacrifice his life. As long as he blocked Long Chen, Huo Lian's attack would take Long Chen's life. Just as everyone was smiling at how Long Chen was about to die, Long Chen also smiled. Starting today, the three divine emissaries will become two. A cyan brick appeared behind Long Chen, rapidly expanding. At the same time, golden light filled the sky. Eighteen dragon teeth appeared at once. Chapter 1871 Monsters Beneath the Ground Translator Born to be blinding golden light erupted. Eighteen dragon teeth had appeared out of nowhere, shooting toward the blood kill hall's divine emissary. It happened abruptly. Just as Long Chen looked to be in desperate straits, he suddenly unleashed such a killing blow. The assassin's expression completely changed. He realized that Long Chen had been feigning being at a disadvantage. Long Chen's goal was him. For an assassin, using 50% of their power was a kind of limit. Any more and it would affect their ability to flee. However, to cooperate with Huo Lian and make sure that Long Chen had no chance to escape, he had actually launched a blow with 80% of his power. Now that Long Chen had launched such a vicious killing blow, he was caught with no way to run. A bad feeling rose in his heart, but he had no time to think about this. His manifestation shook, and the divine marks on his sword lit up. He not only activated the power of his divine item, but he also used up all his spiritual yuan to face these 18 dragon teeth. He had no other choice. Blood kill x slash. The assassin's sword swung, one time vertically and one time horizontally. Its divine light filled the air. Boom. The 18 dragon teeth smashed straight into the giant cross in the air. 18 explosive sounds rang out, but they were so crowded that it sounded like one. An explosive sound also came from behind Long Chen. Huo Lian's spear struck the heaven flipping seal, causing it to quiver and dim rapidly. Huo Lian's attack actually exhausted all its energy. However, it had succeeded in its mission. It had blocked Huo Lian's attack without Long Chen having to worry about it. It had to be known that the Heaven Flipping Seal's item spirit was different from other divine items. It was new and independent. It could attack freely. The Heaven Flipping Seal had blocked Huo Lian, while the Golden Dragon Teeth were once more flying at the assassin. What shocked the assassin was that the seemingly overbearing Dragon Teeth weren't actually as strong as he had expected. Watch out. People began to roar in the distance. At some point, another 18 dragon teeth had appeared behind the assassin, shooting toward him. The shouting had no use. The assassin had just sensed something was wrong, but he had no time to react. Those 18 dragon teeth blew him to pieces along with his Yuan spirit. I finally got one. Long Chen took a deep breath. He had finally eliminated a slippery assassin. Assassins were the worst targets to try to kill and failing would make it even more difficult next time. Assassins wouldn't fall for the same trick twice. The death of the Blood Kill Hall's divine emissary shocked everyone. It happened just as Long Chen was supposed to lose his life. Long Chen extended a hand, grabbing the heaven flipping seal. He had to allow the assassin's sword to fly away as he had no time to block it. He coldly looked at the gloomy Huo Lian. Huo Lian was like a roaring volcano with flames surging around him, pointing his spear at Long Chen. He sneered, is sinister scheming your strongest point? Long Chen had been arranging this from the start. His goal from the beginning had been the assassin. There were two conditions to kill him. One was to bait him into a position where he lost the ability to run, and the other was to have him block Long Chen from fleeing, thus drawing him into close range. All this had been arranged by Long Chen to win him a chance to slay a slippery and difficult target. No, when it comes to sinister scheming, who can compare to your pill valley? The entire continent is within your scheming. I am nothing in comparison, said Long Chen. That assassin must be quite sad. He didn't even get a chance to show off his true abilities before dying. Are you going to follow in his footsteps? 
The truth was that neither Huo Lian nor the Blood Kill Hall's assassin had used their true trump cards. No one was willing to expose their trump cards in front of so many people. Thus, the Blood Kill Hall's assassin was definitely sullen in death. Last time, Long Chen's scheme had failed against Zi Luo and true immortal Jiaoki. After that, he had decided not to rely on schemes anymore. But it was like the heavens were forcing him into a position where he had to scheme. Killing an assassin was not so easy. Fortunately, he had succeeded this time. Come, the real fight can start now. If I can cut down another idiot from Pill Valley, I'll have a drink to celebrate. Long Chen rested Evil Moon on his shoulder. 36 dragon teeth swirled around him. Ignorant arrogance. You are just a lowly piece of trash. Do you think you can compare to me? Although the assassin had been slain, Huo Lian was not the slightest bit uneasy. It seemed he didn't care at all. As he spoke, a divine rune appeared on his forehead. When that divine rune appeared, the head of a statue appeared on his manifestation, and the divine mark was present there as well. The divine rune on the statue's head was set ablaze. The fire grew stronger and stronger, and a powerful pressure descended. Long Chen. A beggar like you can't make up for your deficit even if you were given a thousand years. Even if a beggar sees a piece of gold, they will never gain any nobility Huo Lian's aura changed. It gained a kind of sacred and divine presence to it. The flames surrounding him grew stronger. Long Chen knew that this pressure didn't belong to Huo Lian but his ancestors. That manifestation behind him was very likely an inherited art in his family. This was a foundation. Long Chen truly didn't possess such a foundation. After all, Huo Lian's inheritance stretched back an unknown number of millennia, while Long Chen had nothing. What about this is noble? Relying on the leftovers of your ancestors makes you a noble? To put it nicely, you inherited your ancestors' legacy, but putting it another way, you're dependent on your ancestors, bothering them day and night. The amount of wealth you can make in your lifetime is probably less than a thousandth of what you've squandered. Ignoring everything else, at least a beggar has to actually go begging to live. As for you, what have you done for your household? All you've done is hide at home for years. Turning their wealth into human excrement a vein throbbed on Huo Lian's head. Long Chen's words were like arrows piercing his heart. He had no way to retort, as he had been hidden by the flame divine palace all these years cultivating within his family. It was just as Long Chen said, Huo Lian had used an endless stream of resources. It was only through this enormous amount of resources that an expert like him had been born. Nonsense. I am the number one genius of the Flame Divine Palace and its heir. I am Pill Valley's choice, and what I've created is a legend, an achievement that will shake the world, shouted Huo Lian. The flames around him continued to grow stronger. You should stop trying to brag. If you want to even survive to leave the yin-yang world, you need to rely on your ancestors' protection. I won't be giving you a chance to create a legend, said Long Chen. Suddenly, the statue in Huo Li Huo's manifestation shook. The blazing rune on his forehead spread to cover his entire body, and all the flames grew explosively. The statue suddenly vanished, replaced by a gate. The gate slowly opened. Inside was a sea of flames. A pillar of fire soared out of Huo Li Huo's body. The surrounding space became a flame domain. The heavenly deos roared as they were squeezed out of this area. This became a world of flames. And in this world, Huo Li Ian was king. A paragon art. It's a flame paragon art. Startled cries rang out. Only a paragon art could cause such a terrifying phenomenon. With a paragon art, who could fight him? Long Chen's definitely dead. This world of flames is Huo Lian's. How is Long Chen supposed to face him? There's also that unending stream of flame energy coming from the gate behind him. Huo Lian's energy is limitless. This place had become an isolated world. The domain of a paragon art. A world controlled by the user. Long Chen. Show me just what you'll use to fight me. Having a powerful foundation is also a kind of power. A piece of trash like you without any background shouldn't exist in this world, shouted Huo Lian, his seas of flame erupting. Long Chen was about to say a few things back when the ground shook, and a long ditch split the earth in two. It was like the earth was being torn asunder. Suddenly, a slim figure flew out of the earth, 
It was just a few miles from Long Chen. When he saw that figure, Long Chen was dumbfounded. It was Yi Lingxin. Yi Lingxin's current appearance was wretched. She was pale with terror. Upon seeing Long Chen, she shouted, Run! Monsters are about to come out of the underground. Chapter 1872 Making Things More Stimulating Translator Born to be Yi Lingxin had just appeared when she let out a shout. Surrounded by runes, she actually charged through the sea of flames. Long Chen was startled, worried that she would be injured by Huo Lian's flame domain. He grabbed her, enveloping her in his own flames to protect her. What's going on? Quick, there's no time to explain. Run. Just at this moment, Huo Lian, whose flame energy had reached a peak, threw a giant blazing flame spear at the two of them. However, at the same time, a furious roar came from beneath the ground. A giant figure larger than a mountain charged out. What the fuck? Long Chen's hair instantly stood on end. It was a giant ox-headed devil. Black Chi swirled around its body as if it was a fiend from hell. Its aura gave him a bone-chilling feeling. He had no idea what Yi Lingxin had done to provoke such a beast. It was clearly after her. Long Chen hastily formed hand seals. His Yuan spirit lit up, chanting the Nirvana scripture. The flame energy of Huo Lian's paragon art was suddenly under his control. Huo Lian's expression changed. Long Chen had suddenly stripped away his flame energy. It was like there was a supreme will present. Although he had also mastered the Nirvana scripture, he had never imagined that it could possess such might. Having lost control of his own flames, he even lost connection to his own flame spear. He was about to resist with his own Nirvana scripture, but it was too late. His flame spear suddenly pierced toward the ox head devil's head. Boom. The flame spear exploded. That was the strike of a paragon art, and it caused an immense explosion. However, that giant ox head devil wasn't injured at all. Its head merely quivered for a moment, its movements becoming sluggish. It let out a furious roar. This attack seemed to have provoked it. Its body came charging out of the crack in the ground. Just standing there, half its body pierced the clouds. It suddenly smashed a fist at Huo Lian. It viewed that spear attack as an attack from Huo Lian. That was because of everyone present. Huo Lian's aura was the strongest, and he had flames surging out of him. He became the ox head devil's main target. Bastard. Huo Lian was enraged. That attack had clearly been caused by Long Chen, but there was no way for him to explain that to this beast. It also wasn't giving him time to explain. Its punch was about to reach him, and it was an appalling attack. Flame Divine Wall. The flames around Huo Lian transformed into countless dragons. They twined in front of him, forming a giant barrier. The ox head devil's punch instantly blew apart this powerful barrier. Flames roared in every direction. Run. Suddenly, the other experts noticed that the phantom blood locusts had vanished at some point. However, their fleeing speed wasn't as fast as the wave of flames. They were drowned in them. Some of the experts who weren't fast enough or weren't strong enough were instantly slain. Amongst these flames were some black runes that came from the ox head devil. The two kinds of power were clashing and were so powerful that even these elite Empyreans were unable to resist. Once the flame wave was passed, there were over 70 Empyreans whose bodies had been destroyed. Amongst those, just over 10 were able to protect their Yuan spirits as they continued fleeing. Suddenly, the ox-headed devil smashed its own chest with its fists. An ear-piercing sound wave spread in every direction. Anyone who heard it felt their soul shudder in pain. Those who only had Yuan spirits left instantly exploded. This was actually a strange attack targeted toward Yuan spirits. Huo Lian had been sent flying by the punch. As he had been the one who had borne the majority of its power, his body almost collapsed. He was furious. Just how did such a terrifying monster end up setting its sights on him? Summoning a pair of flame wings, he fled. If he continued fighting against such a beast, he really would be an idiot. Hey, what are you running for? Weren't you bragging about your legend just now? Bring out that prideful background of yours to fight against it. Long Chen had long since fled and was ahead of Huo Lian. He didn't forget to turn back and mock him. Huo Lian gnashed his teeth. His spear trembled. With almost no hesitation, he sent it stabbing toward Long Chen. Haha, 
Many thanks for sending me off. Long Chen laughed. Black flames flowed around Evil Moon as he slashed it into the flame spear. Long Chen was sent flying, and the speed at which he was flying shot up. Borrowing the force of Huo Liian's blow, he increased the gap between them even more. As for Huo Liian, his speed dropped as he faced the power of Long Chen's saber. The ox-headed devil behind him sent a palm crashing toward him. Huo Liian's expression changed. He hastily blocked its attack again. As a result, he once more hacked up blood, his whole body almost exploding. However, he had learned from Long Chen and borrowed the force of this blow to flee. He had to get further from this terrifying monster, or he really might die here. Suddenly, the ground began to tear apart, and one giant figure after another crawled out. They were like fiends from hell. They began to slaughter the experts present. Only by personally facing these terrifying monsters did the experts learn just how strong they were. Even if they had time to activate their divine items, they couldn't block a single attack. They fled in every direction, terrified. But their speed was clearly too little too slow in the face of these ox-head devils. It was like this world had become hell. The ox-head devils were constantly slaying the experts. Even Empyreans appeared helpless in front of them. What did you do to provoke such terrifying fellows? Demanded Long Chen as he pulled along Yi Lingxian. Lightning circulated around them. He was forced to dodge the monsters as they continued to appear from underground. There were dozens of them now. He didn't dare to face them in battle, as he wasn't looking to be a masochist. Their power wasn't something that he could face. I found a sealed copper plate underground. I didn't have time to figure out what it was before I was hunted down, answered Yi Lingxian. She pulled out a fist-sized piece of copper. It was about the thickness of a chopstick and was covered in cracks. There were no fluctuations coming from it, and it looked like a piece of scrap metal. At first, I thought it was some supreme treasure. After all, it was sealed. I had to use a paragon art to break part of the formation to get it. But it doesn't seem like a treasure now. My luck is garbage. I almost got killed by these monsters. Yi Lingxian shook her head with some lingering terror. She had clearly gone through a dangerous experience underground. For her to even live to escape was already the protection of the heavens. This is. Long Chen was shocked upon seeing the copper plate. What? Is it a treasure? Asked Ji Lingxian. Surprised. Let's get out first. Long Chen put away the copper plate, but he was still shocked. He didn't recognize the copper plate itself, but he recognized its aura. That was the aura of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. There was no way that he was mistaken. Back then, the Eastern Wasteland Bell had been nourished in his spiritual space. It had been on the verge of collapse, and it was thanks to his spiritual nourishment that it hadn't been destroyed. Later on, it had unleashed a single blow in the branch Zhuanshan Dao sect of the Eastern Wasteland. It had defeated enemies that he hadn't been able to defeat himself, and after accomplishing its promise, it had vanished without a trace. In all the years since, he hadn't managed to learn anything about where it had gone. This tiny bit of copper was actually a portion of the Eastern Wasteland Bell. Back when he had seen it, it had been fragmented, with many missing parts. Unexpectedly, Yi Lingxian had actually managed to find one of those fragments. However, this fragment had no spirituality on its own, looking like garbage. Long Chen then placed it in his spiritual space in hopes that it could revive with the nourishment of his spiritual strength. The world was constantly shaking as the attacks of the ox head devil slaughtered the experts present. Only a few managed to slip through them. The rest were annihilated. As for Long Chen's side, there were three of them. Long Chen had to repeatedly dodge their attacks. Several times they were almost struck by their palms. Yi Lingxian was pale with terror. Long Chen, maybe we should return the copper plate to them. It doesn't seem like they're willing to let us off. We can't. This copper plate is too important. We have to be able to bring it away. Don't worry, we'll reach the exit soon, said Long Chen as he pulled her away. He quickly saw the gate that he had come through. At this time, Huo Lian came flying over from another direction. However, he was covered in blood and looked wretched. You go first. I'll eliminate him. Long Chen pushed Yi Lingxian into the gate. That was where they had entered from. Huo Lian, 
Do you want to make things more stimulating? Long Chen smiled upon seeing Yi Lingxian fly through the gate and vanish. He moved to block Huo Lian's path, a black lotus slowly condensing in his hand. Chapter 1873 Lord Brahma's Wrath Translator Born to be Long Chen smiled sinisterly. Upon activating the Nirvana scripture, the black flame lotus in his hand rapidly grew. Flame energy surged toward him from every direction. Bastard, if you dare to block me, you'll also die, roared Huo Lian, his expression changing upon seeing that black lotus. As a flame cultivator, he could sense its power. If it was during normal times, perhaps he wouldn't be afraid. But now, if he was blocked, the ox head devil behind him would catch up. I don't believe that. I want to try. Seeing Huo Lian rushing over, Long Chen didn't have time for the flame lotus to grow to its peak. He threw it at him. You're courting death. Huo Lian furiously stabbed his spirit the flame lotus. He activated his divine item's power. Black and red flames exploded. The world shuddered. Flames spread out in every direction. Just at that moment, 72 golden dragon teeth pierced through the flames at Huo Lian. Huo Lian's expression was extremely ugly. 72 dragon teeth at the same time meant that he had no choice but to block them with his full power. Endless flame domain. Lord Brahma's wrath. The flame gate behind Huo Lian opened once more. A hand of flames reached out from within it, holding a giant sword. That flaming sword had just appeared when Huo Lian turned as pale as paper. This was his trump card used only for dealing fatal blows. Using it required a heavy price. Boom. The flame spear slashed into the dragon teeth. The flame sword exploded, while Long Chen's dragon teeth were all sent flying. How powerful. Long Chen was surprised. He had utilized 72 dragon teeth this time and had been thinking that they would be enough to kill him. However, Huo Lian had his trump cards as well. Boom. However, Long Chen's attack knocked Huo Lian back. Behind him was the ox head devil and one of its huge palms smashed toward him. Despite doing his best to block, Huo Lian was sent smashing into the ground. It was unknown if he survived. Just as Huo Lian was struck, three other giant palms came smashing toward Long Chen. Long Chen had no time to observe Huo Lian's condition and directly activated the celestial lightning body blink. The huge gate was behind him, and he charged in. Boom. Just as he thought that he had escaped by entering the gate, the gate exploded, and he was sent flying by a powerful chi wave. Long Chen. Long Chen had just appeared when he heard Chu Yao's startled cry. She, Lu Ruian, and Yi Lingxian had been anxiously waiting for him. With the destruction of the gate, the vines protecting the gate were blown apart. The sky was torn apart. A giant crack appeared and those ox-head devils actually tore through the spatial gate that led to their own minor world. Get back, shouted Long Chen. Long Chen, what are you planning on doing? Shouted Yi Lingxian. Just get back, I have business to handle. After saying that, Long Chen shot forward, slashing the ox-head devils with a lightning blade. This lightning blade was easily blown apart by one of their palms, but this attack was just to draw their attention. They began charging at Long Chen. Long Chen turned and fled, while those ox head devils crazily chased him. In an instant, Long Chen arrived in the giant mountain range. Here, there were countless formations protecting them. Boom. One of them stamped straight on one of the mountains, crushing it. When that ox head devil touched it, the formations in the surroundings lit up. A pillar of light shot out of each of the small trees growing at the peak of the mountains and they converged together to strike the ox head devils. Swords of light pierced through their bodies, and blood splashed. However, their bodies were giant, and these swords of light were unable to cause any fatal damage. The ox head devils roared furiously. They began smashing their fists on the ground. Their terrifying power caused huge shockwaves that shook the grand formation intensely. Suddenly, those small trees exploded, and the formations rapidly dimmed. Quick. Gather the plants. I'll draw their attention, shouted Long Chen. Lightning flashed around him brightly, as he was worried that the ox head devils wouldn't notice him. He began rushing in one direction. The ox head devils roared and chased after him. They quickly caught up, but their giant bodies made them look like humongous gorillas trying to swat a fly. Chaos reigned. 
Long Chen danced and weaved through their claws. It was incredibly dangerous. Being struck by one would turn him into a pancake. Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and Yi Lingxian gathered the plants as quickly as they could. Lu Ruian and Chu Yao in particular were gathering them mountain by mountain, and their efficiency was extremely great. Long Chen, we're done. Run, shouted Chu Yao. Die. Suddenly, a blood-colored spear pierced out of the air at Chu Yao's back. At some point, Huo Lian had also arrived, and his first target was Chu Yao. Endless falling wood. On dying wall, the first one to react was Lu Ruian. The ground erupted, and one giant wooden wall appeared after another. Each wall was actually a strange tree. After taking the shape of a shield, countless roots pierced into the grounds. It was incredibly tough. The tough wooden shields exploded one by one in front of Huo Lian's divine item. In order to kill Chu Yao, Huo Lian was going all out. Nine wooden shields exploded in just an instant. In front of the spear, they appeared weak. However, once the nine wooden shields were destroyed, Chu Yao's figure had vanished. What replaced Chu Yao was a sword shining with brilliant divine light. It transformed into a starry ray of light that pierced toward Huo Lian. Boom. Huo Lian's spear met it head on. After blowing through the nine wooden shields, Less than half of its power remained. As a result, this clash caused Huo Lian's body to shudder. He coughed up a mouthful of blood. Flying back, he almost lost hold of his spear. Sharp thorns shot out of the ground behind him as he flew back. The wooden thorns pierced his body. Chu Yao had summoned them. Lu Ruian had blocked the attack for her, and she had immediately moved and switched to a counterattack. Those wooden thorns were just about to transform Huo Lian's body into wood, turning him into a wooden block. When Huo Lian let out a shout, blood flame devours the heavens. Huo Lian's bloodline power erupted. His blood was like lava, incinerating Chu Yao's wooden thorns. Having failed his sneak attack, Huo Lian had almost died. Seeing Lu Ruian summon a giant willow tree. He wisely flapped a pair of flame wings and fled into the mist surrounding this region. He vanished. Chu Yao, Lu Ruian, and Yi Lingxian were shaken inside. Huo Lian was truly terrifying. He was clearly already heavily injured but had still possessed such power. Even the three of them together had been unable to keep him from fleeing. Let's get out while we can. Just at this moment, Long Chen flew over. The four of them flew toward the mist together. It was unknown if the ox-headed devil beasts were afraid of the mist or had finally reached some limit. But after circling a few times in front of the mist, they stopped. After letting out a few unwilling roars, they returned to their ruined world. Inside the mist, the four of them exchanged a glance and laughed. That was the delight of escaping from death. Stimulating. Definitely stimulating. It was almost stimulating to death. Laughed Long Chen. He collapsed on the ground sitting on his butt. It was definitely stimulating. I almost lost my life. When I was trapped underground, I thought I was doomed. But those angry ox head devils actually tore apart the earth. And that's the only way I escaped Ji Lingxian sighed deeply. These ox head devils are terrifying. Perhaps their power can compare to peak nether passage experts. To be able to escape is definitely fortunate. As for Huo Lian, he was powerful enough to withstand their attacks. No wonder he is so arrogant. He has the capital to be arrogant, said Chu Yao. She took out a set of black robes for Long Chen to change into. Long Chen's black robes were broken at his arms and covered in blood and holes. All of Long Chen's robes were personally sewn by Chu Yao. Even when she had been the princess of the empire, she had always been skilled in the feminine arts. Long Chen put on the new robes and Chu Yao also tidied up his hair. He felt much more refreshed. Feeling Chu Yao's soft movements, Long Chen smiled. He was really powerful. That ox-headed devil actually didn't kill him in one blow. Long Chen explained how he had blocked Huo Lian and how the latter had been struck head-on. The three of them couldn't help finding it funny that a generation's genius had almost been conned to death by Long Chen. No wonder he would target Chu Yao. It's your fault said Lu Ruian coldly. He didn't want to kill just me, but all of us. I was just at the best angle for you, said Chu Yao. Although there was some truth to that, she was protecting Long Chen. Let's go. We should find somewhere safe to check our harvest. 
the four of them left this place together. Chapter 1874 Plans Translator Born to be the four of them left this dangerous region and found a secluded place to rest. The main thing was that Yi Lingxin was heavily injured Novaloon.com while underground. Yi Lingxin had faced the attacks of those terrifying ox head devils. She had been heavily injured, but at the time, she had used a secret art to temporarily suppress her injuries. Naturally, her injuries could only be suppressed for a while. Fortunately, Chu Yao was present, and her wood spiritual energy was incomparably pure. After spending a whole day, Yi Lingxin was fully recovered. If Chu Yao hadn't been present, it would have taken at least half a month for Yi Lingxin to recover. In this dangerous place, being in an injured state could be fatal. Both Long Chen and Chu Yao knew that part of the reason why Yi Lingxin's injuries were so severe was because she had received Huo Lian's spear with her sword. In her heavily injured state, that attack had been too forced, worsening her condition. It's nice having friends. Only upon joining the Martial Heaven Alliance did I ever feel what it's like to have a family Yi Lingxin sighed deeply when she sensed that she had fully recovered. She had always been a solitary figure, and when injured, she could only find somewhere to hide, afraid her enemies would find her. Those bitter times had been hard. Upon joining the Martial Heaven Alliance, she had been viewed as the Elder's child. They all protected her and were kind to her. Now if she was injured, there was someone to heal her, someone to look after her, someone to protect her. That feeling was something that she hadn't even dared to dream of before. It might be better to join the Dragonblood Legion. Probed Chu Yao with a faint smile. Yi Lingxin suddenly blushed and shook her head. Thank you, but I can't. My master told me that Long Chen is skilled at seducing others, so I have to be on guard against him. Long Chen almost coughed up a mouthful of blood. Could the people closest to him not keep saying things like that? It was too hurtful. Your master's eyes are wise. She immediately saw through the unfaithful heart of a certain person, added Lu Ruian profoundly. Don't you think that's too much? Certain people always forget favors, not even saying a word of thanks after gaining giant benefits. I'm just befuddled. Do you think such people never grew a conscience? Long Chen's face was growing darker and darker. If she didn't want to thank him, then fine. But she actually threw stones at him while he was down. Lu Ruian also seemed to feel like she had gone a bit too far. She snorted, but she didn't retort. Chu Ya shook her head. Lu Ruian seemed to view Long Chen as a faded enemy. However, part of this couldn't be helped. Lu Ruian was innately an undying willow. She was a wood element life form, but she also possessed dark energy. Her character was prideful and cold. There was also Long Chen's flame energy and thunder force. Both of those energies represented destruction, which possessed a natural repulsive effect toward wood cultivators with life energy. Chu Yao had a deep spiritual connection with Long Chen so that repulsive effect wasn't so great. However, Lu Ruian was different. The two of them hadn't been friends from the start. So adding this elemental rejection, it was difficult for the two of them to get along. This time, however, Lu Ruian had ended up owing Long Chen an immense debt. That primal chaos divine elixir would completely transform her. It was just that she needed some more time to refine it all. Considering the amount that the yin yang immortal grass had sealed within her body, she didn't even know how much time it would take. Seeming to realize that Long Chen and Lu Ruian didn't get along, Yi Lingxin quickly changed the subject. Long Chen, you really are powerful. You even killed that divine emissary of the Blood Kill Hall. He was a very terrifying existence. Chu Yao and Lu Ruian also nodded. Eliminating a slippery assassin was truly difficult. It was just luck. Long Chen shook his head. If he had used his full power, I would have had an 80% chance of defeating him, but less than a 10% chance of killing him. He actually died due to Huo Lian. What the three women didn't understand. How was this connected to Huo Lian? That assassin was very crafty and skilled in scheming. He didn't want to use too much power or expose his trump cards. He wanted to bait me into a direct clash with Huo Lian and then gather benefits from the side, using the least amount of power to kill me. Actually, something similar occurred to me before when true immortal Jiaoki and Zi Luo both attacked at the same time. 
they were both scheming against each other, not wanting to expose their trump cards. I tried to kill them with something similar, but I was too greedy and didn't succeed. However, this time I managed to pull it off. Long Chen smiled. Having conned one of the Blood Kill Hall's divine emissaries to death could count as a harvest. The Blood Kill Hall's experts were very difficult to kill. Eliminating one of them on this level was something that made even Long Chen feel some pride. Then do you mean the divine emissary was even stronger than we thought? If that's the case, he'll probably be crying on his path to the Yellow Springs, said Chu Yao with a laugh. Such an expert had died so sullenly. He deserves it. Most people who die to assassins also have sullen deaths. The assassins aren't actually strong but can kill people several times stronger than themselves. Assassinating targets across realms is easy for them. To put it bluntly, assassination arts are scams. But as long as someone is fooled, they'll die. The one who lives is naturally the expert. Long Chen shrugged. Chu Yao and the others nodded. An expert on this level had died just like that due to making a mistake in his own scheme. Long Chen, what is that copper plate? How could it draw out such terrifying monsters? Asked Ji Lingxian. Long Chen took the copper plate again. Now there was a faint sheen to it that hadn't existed before. It seemed like the slightest breath of life had been breathed into it. This copper plate's origin is extremely shocking. You know of the Martial Heaven Continent's five supreme divine items. Are you saying, yes, this copper plate is a fragment of the leader of the five great divine items, the Eastern Wasteland Bell, said Long Chen. How can you know that, demanded Yi Lingxian. Because, I met it and had a business transaction with it. Its body is fragmented, and this is one of the fragments. I just don't know why it would be sealed here. Its divine essence has essentially been sucked dry. Most likely, it was absorbed by the altar. As for who did it or their goals, we can't know. Back when I asked the Eastern Wasteland Bell why it had fallen to such a point, it wouldn't tell me. Lingxian, this copper plate is on its last breaths and requires a huge amount of spiritual strength to nourish it. Please leave it with me. I might be able to use it, said Long Chen. He rarely asked others for things, but this copper plate was too important. Just take it. It's useless to me said Yi Lingxian magnanimously. Long Chen nodded gratefully. Yi Lingxian's words were naturally false. How could a fragment of a supreme divine item be useless? However, she gave it to him without hesitation. Thank you. Don't tell anyone about this copper plate, including your master, warned Long Chen solemnly. Why? Because the implications are too big. When I met the Eastern Wasteland Bell, I could vaguely sense that something was off. Just think about it. The leader of the five supreme divine items was almost destroyed. The Eastern Wasteland Bell is an existence that maintains the karmic luck of the entire Martial Heaven continent. As for the other four supreme divine items, there's no news about them. It repeatedly told me not to ask what had happened, because the karmic burden was too heavy. That's why you shouldn't draw the Alliance head into this matter. Yi Lingxian suddenly had a thought, looking at Long Chen. She said, but then you, I've already met the Eastern Wasteland Bell, so I don't mind adding on this bit of karma as well. When have I ever been afraid? Long Chen smiled. Thank you. At this point, Yi Lingxian realized that Long Chen was bearing the karma for her, while he made it seem like he was the one who owed her a favor. Yi Lingxian knew that any supreme existence was related to the Heavenly Deos, and being involved with them could easily cause the Heavenly Deos to sense them. Some karma would be settled during heavenly tribulation. The heavenly deos would silently increase the difficulty of the heavenly tribulation, turning it into heavenly punishment. It was unknown how many people had been killed like this without even being aware of what had happened. That was karma. As for the eastern wasteland bell, it was the leader of the five supreme divine items. If she kept it without any preparations, her heavenly tribulation might transform due to the matter of the eastern wasteland bell. She might die if she wasn't aware. We're a family, so no need for words of courtesy. What plans do you have now? Asked Long Chen. Plans? I'm planning on searching for more treasures, said Yi Lingxian with a confused look. Seeing Long Chen's bitter smile, Yi Lingxian didn't know what she had said wrong. Looking at her oddly, Long Chen asked. As the future leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance, 
Have you not noticed anything? I, I didn't see anything. Long Chen sighed. Fine, I'll tell you. The board of the Martial Heaven Continent is about to completely transform with the opening of the Yin Yang world. If you do not grasp this opportunity, the Martial Heaven Alliance will shatter. Chapter 1875 The Baby Face Reappears Translator Born to be Long Chen Do you think I'm stupid? Yi Lingxian had a bitter smile. No, you're not stupid. You're just a tiny bit foolish. Comforted Long Chen. Scoundrel, how could you say such a thing? Chu Yao pushed Long Chen. He, it was just a joke, said Long Chen. Yi Lingxian shook her head. I feel very foolish, especially compared to you. It feels like it was a miracle I could live until today. Long Chen said there was a crisis, but she didn't see anything. Long Chen, don't keep us in suspense. I also don't see the danger you're talking about. Tell us, urged Chu Yao. Long Chen cleared his throat. Actually, you've also seen it, but you aren't thinking far enough. The current righteous path has a portion leaning toward Pill Valley. You saw it in the battle. There were no other experts from the righteous path. They were all on Pill Valley's side. That means that the people of the Martial Heaven Alliance had been cleared before we arrived. In other words, they were either scared away by the other experts there or killed. That's why the remaining people were all our enemies. The righteous path, the corrupt path, the ancient races, the ancient family alliance, the Xuan beasts, the blood kill hall, they've all banded together. It's a kind of hidden scheme or perhaps even an open scheme. Pill Valley has essentially expressed its attitude. It wants to gather all the powers on the continent to target the Martial Heaven Alliance. The people that have not joined Pill Valley's side become isolated forces. If they are allowed to be picked off bit by bit, it will be a fatal blow to the Martial Heaven Alliance. The ones still standing on the sidelines will all end up throwing themselves on Pill Valley's mercy. Even the powers belonging to the Martial Heaven Alliance will be rattled. You saw the situation there. All those people were from different forces, yet they didn't attack each other. They only targeted those righteous experts who didn't submit to their side. Now you should understand the crisis. Only then did Yi Lingxian and Chu Ya realize just how serious things were. Just how were the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts supposed to handle so many powerful enemies? If when the Yin Yang world closed, the majority of the Martial Heaven Alliance's experts had died, it would definitely be the final nail in the coffin for the Martial Heaven Alliance. Then what should we do? Asked Ji Lingxian hastily. Not us. It's what you should do, said Long Chen. You are the future leader of the Martial Heaven Alliance. At this time, it's up to you to decide the fate of the Martial Heaven Alliance. The Alliance head has already left that authority to you. Long Chen pointed to the sword on her back. That was the significance behind Ku Jin Ying giving it to her. But I can't handle something like that. Yi Lingxian's voice quivered. She had always been a solitary figure. All right, since you're too foolish, I'll explain it to you another way. I ask you, if the Martial Heaven Alliance was about to be destroyed, would you be willing to sacrifice your life to win a chance for the Martial Heaven Alliance? Asked Long Chen bluntly. His bluntness caused Chu Yao to glare at him. His words were hurtful. Of course, I would be willing, said Yi Lingxian without any hesitation. Long Chen nodded. Good, then you can start risking your life now. How? Against who? Asked Ji Lingxian. Of course, not against me. Go fight your enemies. If there are no enemies before you, then go find them. This is the best era and the worst era. The Martial Heaven Alliance's opportunity lies in this moment, said Long Chen. Chu Yao suddenly clapped her hands together, exclaiming, I understand. Long Chen is saying that since the Martial Heaven Alliance is in a time of great crisis, the ones harboring sinister intentions have already joined Pill Valley. There is another portion that is still standing to the side. So those that can still stand together with the Martial Heaven Alliance are essentially all loyal. It's like this tribulation is a giant wave washing away the sand, leaving only the gold. Long Chen is saying that you should gather the bits of gold together and have them become the Martial Heaven Alliance's solid backing. With the crisis upon us. You should step forward and let the people loyal to you. Show yourself fighting bravely on the front lines. Show yourself uniting the righteous path. Make a rallying call and strike back. 
I'm sure many experts of the righteous path have suffered quite a bit of bullying. If you call out to them, they will naturally answer. Only once everyone is united can they fight back. This is a rare opportunity born in the Imperial Palace. Chu Yao was naturally more familiar with the art of war. She understood Long Chen's words quicker. But, will I really be able to do that? Yi Lingxian still lacked confidence. Aren't you unafraid of dying? So why be afraid of failing? Lingxian, leaders aren't born but made. When senior Ku Jinying led the righteous path back in the day, she slaughtered the corrupt path, terrifying them. At that time, she wasn't much older than you, and her cultivation base wasn't higher. To be a leader, you need courage and resolve. What is confidence? It's something piled up bit by bit. Right now, you need to accumulate the experience of succeeding once. Don't go looking for more treasures. Starting now, gather the righteous experts. Save them from being besieged from all sides. Start rolling the snowball now, and it will grow bigger and bigger. If you want to be a successful leader, you need a particular charisma. One of the most charismatic things a leader can do is to risk their own life for their people. That will make others willing to entrust their lives to you. Encouraged Long Chen. After hearing this, Yi Lingxian's blood began to heat up. Scene after scene appeared in her mind. In those scenes, she was leading countless righteous experts against their enemies in battle. Blood dyed her robes as she fought valiantly. Thank you, Long Chen. I understand. I won't disappoint my master. Although I still feel like you are better than me, I will definitely do my best. Even if I have to lose my life, I'll live up to the sword on my back. Yi Lingxian suddenly stood. She seemed like a completely different person. Long Chen smiled. We're different. You walk the King Dao, I walk the Hegemon Dao. There's a fundamental difference between them. Before this, you had to put your life on the line just to survive. Starting today, you will put your life on the line for others. You will find that there's an immense difference between them. Only when they're protecting something dear to them can someone unleash their greatest power. Yi Lingxian bowed slightly. Many thanks. I'll leave right now. Wait. I'll go with you, said Chu Ya suddenly. Long Chen was startled. Could it be that his words had been so persuasive that even Chu Ya wanted to go? That wasn't in his plans. Big sister, you. Yi Lingxian was also startled. Chu Ya smiled. Ruian needs to focus on refining the divine elixir. Without her, I would be at a disadvantage against people on the level of the Blood Kill Hall's divine emissaries. I would rather go with you while Ruian stays in seclusion. With two people, it won't be so lonely. Yi Lingxian was naturally delighted. Chu Yao was a terrifying wood cultivator, perfect for controlling the rhythm of a battle. With Chu Yao's defense and Yi Lingxian's offense together, the two of them wouldn't fear anyone. Many thanks. Yi Lingxian happily pulled Chu Yao away. As for Lu Ruian, she was now in seclusion in Chu Yao's spiritual space. Long Chen, don't get into too much trouble. Chu Yao's voice rang out from a distance. There was a faint laughter along with it. Long Chen had an urge to cry. Originally, he had been wanting to stimulate Yi Lingxian's will, having her take this opportunity to become the leader of the righteous path. However, even Chu Yao had been seduced by his words. Fine, I'll do my best. Long Chen bitterly smiled. If Chu Yao was with him, then with her wood spirit union, he would have an ocean's worth of spiritual yuan to use. Wouldn't he be able to dominate his enemies then? However, that was all a dream now. When he thought about it, he supposed that this was good as well. With Yi Lingxian and Chu Yao together, they had top offense and top defense. Yi Lingxian even had a paragon art. Even if they encountered people like true immortal Jiaoki or Ziluo, they wouldn't be in danger. Long Chen examined the copper plate in his spiritual space. After being nourished by his soul for a while, there was the slightest fluctuation coming from it, putting him at ease. The Eastern Wasteland Bell was the leader of the five supreme divine items. For it to recover its original divine might, it would need to regather its fragments. This piece in his hands was very important. It was just that he had no idea where the Eastern Wasteland Bell was. Back when it was leaving, it said that it was going to regather its body. Even after so many years, there wasn't the slightest news about it. Hence, Long Chen had no idea how much it had managed to regather. 
He then turned to look at Evil Moon. It was still in seclusion, and Long Chen could not communicate with it using his divine sense. He would be unable to activate its divine power during this time. Long Chen stood and patted off some dust. He was about to leave when an arrow of light suddenly pierced into the clouds in the distance. Divine light exploded, blowing away the clouds. This aura, it's him. Long Chen's expression changed. He hastily rushed over in that direction. Rumbling rang out, and divine light exploded. Saber images and sword chi raged through the air. There were actually multiple people activating the power of their divine items in a crazy battle. Mo Nian, I bet you never thought such a day would come for you. With death at hand, have you ever thought of digging your own grave? Long Chen rushed over and saw over a hundred people crazily attacking a cloaked man. Upon seeing that man with his face that still had a bit of baby fat, Long Chen smiled. Even after all these years, it seemed that this fellow had yet to change. Chapter 1876 Corpse poison the person being besieged from all sides by over a hundred experts was one Long Chen hadn't seen in several years. Mo Nian. Mo Nian had a bow in hand, and his manifestation was present behind him. Long Chen could see two figures within his manifestation. They were both standing there, their hands in a seal. Divine light flowed through them and into Mo Nian. Mo Nian was covered in blood. It was unknown if it was his or someone else's, but he looked to be in a bad spot. His aura was fluctuating intensely. It seemed as if he had been gravely injured. What was shocking though was that even in this state, even against experts who were activating the power of their divine abilities, the five-colored bow in Mo Nian's hand was able to resolve all the attacks he faced. Even in his heavily injured state, he wasn't defeated. That bow Long Chen saw all the attacks actually rebound off the bow. With Mo Nian's aura in a chaotic state, he was practically on his last legs. He was relying entirely on that bow in his hand. Mo Nian, you've committed too many sins. After grave robbing all day, your retribution has finally come, sneered someone. The majority of these experts were from the ancient family alliance, and the others were from the righteous path, corrupt path, ancient races, and Xuan beasts. Clearly, they had formed an alliance. Long Chen's guess was not wrong. Pill Valley was finally baring its fangs, even facing over a hundred experts. Mo Nian cursed back, fuck off, it's not grave robbing. Did your masters die early? Have you not heard of a term called archaeology? I, Mo Nian, am searching through ancient remains for the legacy of the human race. I am enhancing the current cultivation world civilization. As a pioneer of the archaeology field, I will bring the world to an unprecedented future. What qualifications do you have to act like you're better than me? I know the heavens, I know the earth, and I know the air in between. I am one who explores the limits of the world, not a group of blind ants like you. What bullshit. To describe grave robbing so honorably, your face really is thick. Maybe no one else can compare when it comes to that, roared someone else. That person was especially angry because his family's tomb had been robbed by Mo Nian. It wasn't just him. Amongst the ancient families, most of them with a certain level of power or ancient inheritance had had their ancestral tombs robbed by Mo Nian. HMPH. When it comes to the thickness of one's face, I'm a far cry from Long Chen. Are you blind? Cursed Mo Nian. What the fuck? Even when I'm not there, I get shot by you. If you want to be shameless, fine. But don't bring me into it. Long Chen finally couldn't endure it anymore and jumped in. 72 golden rays of light shot through the experts attacking Mo Nian. Long Chen could see that Mo Nian was heavily injured, and he was forced to conserve his power to suppress his injuries. If he continued to do that, he would be worn down slowly. Knowing Mo Nian, if he was forced to that extent, he might do something crazy. The dragon teeth struck suddenly, catching the attackers off guard. By the time they reacted, the dragon teeth had reached them. Divine items shattered as those who clashed with the dragon teeth were blown apart. The majority of these people only had quasi-divine items, and they were unable to block the attack of the dragon teeth. They were instantly annihilated. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you came at a good time. Help me annihilate these bastards. Seeing Long Chen, Mo Nian was revitalized, taking advantage of the chaos. 
Five-colored divine light came from his bow. Rays of light shot out, each striking their target. After Long Chen's attack, only 35 experts had survived relying on their half-step divine items. Those people were all elite Empyreans, but even so, Long Chen's attack had cost them half their lives. They were still hacking up blood when Mo Nian's arrows arrived. The arrows pierced through their heads, and their accuracy was amazing. 35 arrows flew by, and 35 experts were slain. Not one escaped. Even Long Chen was stunned. Mo Nian's archery was practically godlike. Long Chen waved his hand, grabbing the now masterless divine items. Before they could fight back, he tossed them in the primal chaos space. Several explosions erupted within the primal chaos space. Some divine items resisted and were annihilated by the primal chaos bead. It was the smarter ones who immediately went still and didn't dare to resist. Long Chen moved quickly, but he was still a bit too slow. The majority of the intact divine items managed to flee. He only managed to grab 17 swords. Five of them exploded, but 12 of them submitted. Those 12 had comparatively more intelligent item spirits, so their quality was a bit higher. 12 divine items was quite the harvest. Ha ha ha, Mo Nian, it's been a while since I saw your fat face. Only then did Long Chen fly over to Mo Nian. He gave him a fierce embrace. After parting in the eastern wasteland, it had been many years. He had been concerned about him and hadn't expected to meet like this. Ha ha ha, your mouth is still the same. For you to have lived until today really is a miracle. Pfft. Mo Nian suddenly coughed up a mouthful of blood, making Long Chen jump. What happened? Are you injured? Long Chen hastily took out a healing pill for him. He investigated Mo Nian's body, and his expression suddenly changed. Mo Nian's body was filled with death chi. It was like he was turning into a corpse. Swallowing the pill, Mo Nian waved his hand. It's fine. I won't die. It's just an occupational disease of my archaeology. This is clearly the invasion of corpse poison. You've been within tombs for too long, and the corpse poison has even invaded your soul. If this continues, you'll lose your life. Long Chen shook his head gravely. Fuck, isn't it all because of that idiot Defong? Originally, this corpse poison was only irritable, and I couldn't erase it, but it wasn't able to cause me any harm. In fact, I could even give some of it to others when I wanted to. But that Defung kept attacking me. We have fought three battles since entering the Yun Yang world without deciding a winner. But each time, the corpse poison would flare up. The third flare was especially bad. But it's fine. My body already has a certain resistance to the corpse poison. And as long as I have time, I can slowly erase it. This time, I was just unlucky. I found a good place but ended up encountering that Defung again. With the corpse poison still flaring, I had to run. He wanted the treasures from that place, so he sent some troops to irritate me. HMPH, it's fortunate you came, or I really might have died, said Mo Nian hatefully. You found a good place but were driven away by Defung exactly. Let me tell you, based on my years of gravity cough, archaeology, I'm sure that place is an absolute treasure, declared Mo Nian. It's just that I can't suppress my corpse poison yet. Otherwise, if the two of us went, we'd annihilate them. Your corpse poison, I have a way to get rid of it. You'll have to endure some pain though. Long Chen placed a hand on Mo Nian's back. You, you can do that? This is no ordinary corpse poison. It's a kind of defense left behind by some terrifying experts after they died. It contains their will from when they were alive. Thunder Force suddenly surged out of Long Chen's hand and into Mo Nian's body. Mo Nian's hair stood on end, and his eyes almost popped out. How can your Thunder Force be so domineering? exclaimed Mo Nian. He found that this Thunder Force was erasing the will within the corpse poison. It was like snow melting in the sunlight. My Thunder Force comes from tribulation lightning and is perfect for erasing your corpse poison. Endure it. It will definitely cause you some harm while expelling the corpse poison, said Long Chen. It's fine. Come. This bit of pain is nothing to me. If I make a sound, it'll count as my loss. Ah. Mo Nian suddenly let out a cry as Long Chen's thunder force transformed into needles that stabbed his spiritual sea. That intense pain came out of nowhere. You lost. Fuck. You're still a connor. Raged Mo Nian. 
you're the one who started bragging first. Doesn't hitting your own face hurt? Laughed Long Chen. This was a reprisal for Mo Nian for saying his face was thicker. Long Chen's Thunder Force worked quickly. The Thunder Force itself was unable to erase the corpse poison, but it wiped away the will contained within it. With the will within it gone, it was easy for Mo Nian to get rid of the corpse poison. Consuming two pills Long Chen refined for him, the corpse poison was quickly expelled. He then focused on healing his injuries. Ha ha ha. I, Mo Nian, am resurrected. Defang, just wait. I'm going to beat your ass. Let's go. As soon as Mo Nian was recovered, he dragged Long Chen off in a certain direction. Chapter 1877. Taking action Long Chen and Mo Nian rushed off. Long Chen asked, You fought with Di Fang. How strong is he? Long Chen didn't know anything about Di Feng's power. All he knew was that he was one of Di Long's sons. Di Xin's big brother. He was also the secret successor of the ancient family alliance. As they would be mortal enemies. Learning a bit more about him would be good. He's very powerful. Almost frighteningly so. Having fought him three times. I know he was still hiding some powerful trump cards. Without absolute assurance in killing me. He refused to expose his trump cards. Furthermore. He is the secret weapon that Di Long cultivated. He's someone created through all the resources of the ancient family alliance. And he has at least three top grade divine items. If you encounter him. You have to be careful. He's also someone who schemes deeply. And he's ruthless. He's a very dangerous person. Said Mo Nian. In their three battles. While it looked like they had used up everything. He knew that Di Feng had held back. As for himself. Because of having to divert power to fight Di Feng. The energy he had been using to suppress the corpse poison had weakened. Causing it to flare up. In the end. Di Feng hadn't hunted him down personally because he had found a place of supreme treasures. Otherwise, he would very likely be a corpse. Now that Mo Nian's corpse poison was cured, he would no longer be distracted by it. However, there was no real way to determine which of them was stronger. And Mo Nian was not confident in beating Di Feng. He was truly powerful. You had three battles with him already? And then the fourth time you ran into each other. Your corpse poison was flaring? It seems Heavenly Fate Island has also been scheming against you, said Long Chen. What? Ag, now that you say that, I understand. I was always wondering how Di Feng and I managed to run into each other four times in a place as large as the Yin Yang world. So it was caused by those bastards from Heavenly Fate Island, said Mo Nian hatefully. Are your grandpa and the others doing well? Asked Long Chen. They're all well. They're in a very hidden and safe place. No one can find them. That place is special and isolates them from the lines of fate. Even Heavenly Fate Island can't find them. Said Mo Nian.Novaloon.com Long Chen nodded. It was good that they were safe. However, why didn't Di Feng target you instead? You killed his little brother and slapped his father in the face. His enmity with you is greater than with me. Mo Nian suddenly looked at Long Chen. Because your face is bigger. TCH, it's definitely because that bastard thinks I'm an easier target. The ancient family alliance is in chaos because of me. So he wants to kill me to put himself in a perfect position to succeed his father as their leader. Tell me, why do you spend all day grave robbing? Asked Long Chen. He was curious. Was such a thing addicting? Satisfying? It's archaeology. Corrected Mo Nian. Fine. Even if it's archaeology. Why are you doing it? I have no choice. You probably have heard that my Mo family was the leader of the ancient family alliance. However, the D family relied on underhanded methods to get the other ancient families to betray us. They usurped us. And one of their main goals was our inherited divine item. The five element sun hunting bow. In truth, after that battle for power, my Mo family was almost destroyed. Only some of the branches managed to escape and they concealed their identities, hiding throughout the land. However, the great power of the five element sun hunting bow that was unleashed in that battle threw the lines of fate into chaos, so no one could read where we went. Due to exhausting all of its power, the five element sun hunting bow fell into a deep slumber. It was secretly buried in our ancestral lands, waiting for a descendant to awaken it. 
It was only upon obtaining the five element sun hunting bow that I realized that when it unleashed its divine power back then, it not only screened us from the lines of fate, but also buried a portion of its power within the strongest experts present at the time. Those experts weren't aware of it, but it wasn't long before they all died one by one, even in death. They didn't realize that they were dying because of the divine seed that the five element sun hunting bow had buried within them. Those people were the top experts of their time. When they died, they were buried in their family's ancestral tombs. You should know that the large families always place their ancestral lands in the places with the best feng shui. That's to condense more karmic luck for their descendants. However, they didn't know that their ancestors' heroic spirits were consumed by the divine seeds turning their ancestors' corpses into fertilizer. Those divine seeds sucked away the karmic luck within those tombs to strengthen themselves. In order to allow the five element sun hunting bow to recover its strength, I need to slowly absorb those divine seeds. That's why I have to go grave robbing ah, uh, no, perform archaeology. At first, I didn't have much experience so I dug a lot of useless holes. Later, I learned more and worked hard. My technique improved. And the facts prove that as long as a person works hard, they can master anything. Now, my technique is practically perfect. Furthermore, I have great attainments and rich practical experience when it comes to the art of archaeology. It seems we've gone off topic. Let's get back to it, said Long Chen. This fellow's eyes always lit up when he brought up grave robbing. Oh, later I excavated the corpses of the people who had surrounded my Mo family back then. I used the five element sun hunting bow to absorb the divine seeds, allowing it to gradually recover. That's why I've been focused on researching the field of archaeology all these years. Through my work, I can recover the lost inheritances and history of the cultivation world, said Mo Nian proudly. To turn robbing tombs into such an outstanding line of work, perhaps only you are capable of that, said Long Chen. He. I knew that you wouldn't understand my archaeology, but I don't blame you. Mo Nian laughed, seemingly undaunted by Long Chen's words. Long Chen's mouth curled, but inside, he was filled with shock. So the five element sun hunting bow had sent its power throughout its enemies, and by having someone in the future excavate their tombs, it was possible to take revenge and obtain benefits. By scattering those seeds and reaping them when they were ripe, it was possible to get a huge return. That was a big move. His predecessors had planted the trees, while Mo Nian was reaping the benefits. Was it a coincidence? Or had the Mo family's ancestors really calculated that things would turn out this way? If it was the latter, then their scheming ability was terrifying. If they had even managed to calculate the timing of the Great Era coming, then it would be even more terrifying. This kind of scheming was even more amazing than Heavenly Fate Islands. It looked like a coincidence. But if the Mo family had not meticulously arranged for all of this, it was impossible for there to be such a result. If the Mo family had been suddenly struck by a sneak attack and rushed, how could they plan things so perfectly? However, if they had known about the attack and prepared such a perfect backup plan, why hadn't they resolved the danger in the first place? Why allow the Mo family to be damaged to such an extent? It seemed somewhat contradictory. It seemed that even Mo Nian didn't know what his ancestors were thinking back then. Right now, his main goal was to continue robbing tombs to absorb those divine seeds, restoring the divine power of the five element sun hunting bow. Long Chen, I should tell you that I noticed a treasured land of great feng shui. There are nine dragon veins in the surroundings. It is a supreme place where the karmic luck of nine dragon veins gathered to one place. Furthermore, a natural mountain passage leads into it, while its back is against a beautiful pool. It is clearly a blessed land, but actually, within this peaceful appearance lies a trace. Stop talking about things I can't understand, even if it is a land of treasures. Defung entered before us. Any treasures would have been taken away by him, if we rush over. Perhaps we can do something, but if you keep yapping, things will be over by the time we get there, said Long Chen. Defong? Tch Mo Nian snorted disdainfully. That fellow knows nothing of archaeology. Figuring out that place will definitely take him a few days. We should have time. The two of them flew quickly. Suddenly, 
they heard muffled sounds in the distance, and the ground shook slightly. What's going on? Could Defung be trying to rely on brute force? Mo Nian's expression changed. They weren't far from the place he wanted to go, so this shaking made him uneasy. The two of them flew toward the sound, and they quickly saw explosions of divine light. There were experts fighting. Demon woman, let's see where you run this time. It's Defung exclaimed Mo Nian. Long Chen was also startled, and he quickly saw a mass of people surrounding a battlefield. At the center of the battlefield was a large man wearing a golden crown on his head. He was fighting barehanded against a woman, actually receiving a divine item's attacks without a weapon. The woman didn't have a manifestation, but there was a divine mark on her forehead, giving her endless energy. Each slash of her sword made a tearing sound, as if space was a cloth being torn apart. However, even going all out, that woman was suppressed by the barehanded man. That man clearly hadn't used his full power yet. It's someone from the original devil race. Wondered Mo Nian. When Long Chen saw that woman, his heart pounded. That woman was Yu Ziaokian, and she was currently facing Di Feng. Di Feng had actually forced her to the point of unleashing the mark of the original devil race, exposing her status. Attack together to kill Di Feng. Long Chen had already shot off. All right, Mo Nian didn't care too much. As soon as it came to killing Di Feng, he was energized. A five-colored arrow shot out of the five-element sun hunting bow. The arrow had just left his bow when it almost instantly reached Defung many miles away. Chapter 1878 Decisive clash with Defung Defung was fighting intensely against Yu Ziaokian, but he wasn't using his full power. He had seen that Yu Ziaokian's status could not be low within the original devil race, so he wanted to capture her alive. He hoped to learn the whereabouts of the original devil race from her. The original devil race was the enemy of the entire continent. If he could really obtain the location of their headquarters, he could gather a giant force to annihilate them. He also knew that Long Chen had a definite relationship with the original devil race, but they had never managed to find any proof. If he could capture Yu Ziaokian alive, then it didn't matter whether or not Long Chen admitted it. He had plenty of proof or at least ways to make proof that Long Chen was the puppet of the original devil race, that he had betrayed the human race. Then Long Chen would also become the enemy of the whole continent, and even anyone related to Long Chen would be annihilated. That was why he didn't want to use his full power. He wanted to find a chance to capture her alive. For him to defeat her wasn't very difficult. The current Yu Ziaokian was in a strange condition and unable to disguise herself as an Empyrean. Since she was also unable to use heavenly Tao energy, she was relying entirely on her divine mark. However, this place was not the skyscraping world. Although she wasn't suppressed here, she wasn't supported either. So she was at an immense disadvantage fighting here. Despite that, her power was still extremely great. To capture her alive was something even Di Feng couldn't do without an opportunity. Suddenly, Di Feng's expression changed. He swung his arm, and a spear emitting an ancient aura appeared, stabbing behind him. Boom! Mo Nian's arrow struck the spear, causing a huge explosion. The surrounding experts jumped in fright. They all turned to see who had attacked, but all they saw was a streak of lightning. A saber pierced through the air, and it was like all the killing intent in the world had been condensed within it. Di Feng had no choice but to give up on Yu Ziaokian. His spear faced Long Chen's evil moon. Boom. Long Chen's spear contained the power he had been accumulating on his way rushing over. He crashed into Di Feng like a shooting star. Before this, Mo Nian's aura had only knocked Di Feng back. But Long Chen's saber sent Di Feng flying into the distance. The air Di Feng passed through rumbled. It was like space was unable to bear the impact. And Di Feng was unable to stabilize himself. Long Chen was truly infuriated. He wouldn't allow anyone to attack his women. Long Chen was covered in dragon scales. His divine ring was spinning behind him, and five stars revolved in his eyes. Di Feng was startled. Having never encountered such explosive power, his manifestation appeared behind him as he attempted to stabilize himself. However, space continued to rumble as if it was about to explode. He was unable to force Long Chen off. It's you. Di Feng finally recognized Long Chen. How dare you injure my brother? 
I'll make sure to get justice for him, shouted Long Chen, killing intent overflowing out of him. Mo Nian was startled. Since when had this fellow been such an upholder of justice? No, he was definitely just using him. When Mo Nian saw Yu Ziaokian's expression, he instantly realized that Long Chen was making an excuse for himself. Suddenly, Long Chen sent out a kick at Di Feng's abdomen. Di Feng snorted and also sent a kick to meet Long Chen's attack. Both their bodies shook. But just at this moment, a ray of light pierced through the air, instantly reaching Di Feng. Di Feng had no choice but to twist his body away, and the arrow narrowly flew by his cheek. However, Di Feng's expression was still calm. He was already familiar with Mo Nian's attacks. After dodging Mo Nian's attack, Di Feng's spear lit up, about to unleash an attack to force Long Chen away. Now that Long Chen was at such a close range, he was unable to unleash the full abilities of his spear. However, just as he did this, a hand came from a strange angle and smacked him in the face. Di Feng had managed to dodge Mo Nian's arrow, but he wasn't able to dodge Long Chen's slap which was timed perfectly with the arrow. As a result, Long Chen sent him flying away. The sound of this slap resounded through the air, shocking the surrounding experts. What that's? How? Is that possible? Hundreds of experts stared in dumbfounded shock. Their jaws dropped. Even having personally witnessed it, they couldn't quite believe it. The future leader of the ancient family alliance, a peak expert, had actually been slapped in the face. Heavens, isn't that Long Chen? And that's Mo Nian. Everyone, attack. Someone finally reacted. Weapons began to blaze with light as hundreds of experts prepared to activate their divine items to kill Long Chen and Mo Nian. However, the majority of them went after Mo Nian. One reason was because they were confident that Di Feng could kill Long Chen on his own, while another was that they hated Mo Nian more. The majority of the experts here were from the ancient family alliance. All of them had a deep enmity with Mo Nian. Long Chen. Die. Di Feng suddenly roared. The sound waves alone were like a giant wave crashing through the world. He was fully infuriated. His manifestation changed, and a crown figure appeared within it. That figure's hands were in a seal, and divine light flowed out the seal. When its palms separated, they actually opened a gate before it. Immortal light flowed out of the gate and into Di Feng's body. With the support of this immortal light, Di Feng seemed to become an immortal king. He looked both wise and powerful. However, his aura didn't match with his sinister expression. Die. Di Feng's spear pierced through the air at Long Chen. Immortal light sealed heaven and earth. Boom. Long Chen slashed Devil Moon at the spear while also dodging to the side. As a result, his saber image instantly shattered. Although he managed to avoid the spear, the shock waves blew him back. He almost coughed up blood. This is a paragon art. Boom. Di Feng's spear tore through the ground, splitting the mountain range. The power of his attack was appalling. With Di Feng using a paragon art, Long Chen couldn't tarry. His Yuan spirit formed hand seals, and thunder force gathered throughout the world. Thunder rumbled and a berserk aura rose. Lightning filled the world, immersing Long Chen. Upon extending a hand, a lightning spear appeared in Long Chen's grasp. Bang! The two spears collided. Long Chen's lightning spear actually exploded. This is just a quasi-paragon art. You aren't even connected to another world's energy and are still suppressed by the laws of heaven and earth. You think that's enough to resist a true paragon art? What a joke. Sneered Di Feng as he attacked again. Does your face not hurt? Sneered Long Chen. Another lightning spear condensing in his hands. He once more threw it at Di Feng. Yet again, his spear was shattered. Die. Di Feng's spear was merciless and pierced toward Long Chen. However, his expression quickly changed. Long Chen was now forming hand seals himself. A lightning dragon had appeared around him, and it formed a swirling lightning portal. As the portal was forced open, a torrent of terrifying lightning burst out of it, pouring into this world. Long Chen's lightning spear condensed once more. He smiled. When Long Chen connected to the Morning Dao lightning field, he felt a powerful surge of thunder force pouring into his body. He had limitless energy. His spear pierced forward and the lightning domain behind him gave him immense power. This time, an ear-ringing explosion occurred when the two spears collided, blinding people. 
Both of them were blown back by the immense power. The instant those two spears collided, amongst the endless lightning, 72 dragon teeth silently pierced toward Di Feng. Di Feng was startled. Long Chen's attacks came one after another. He didn't even know when those dragon teeth had appeared. As they were hidden in the lightning, the huge figure within Di Feng's manifestation suddenly formed a hand seal, and rays of immortal light shot out like flying swords. As the dragon teeth collided with the flying swords, the void shook and exploded. Immortal light filled the battlefield, making it so people were unable to see what was going on. Di Feng suddenly let go of his spear. Floating in the air, he formed hand seals rapidly. The figure within his manifestation followed his movements exactly. As Di Feng formed those seals, his spear seemed to awaken. It blazed with light, and the immense power caused space to twist. The runes on the spear began to light up one by one according to some kind of sequence. When the final rune lit up, the spear grew in size, becoming a giant heavenly spear, void breaking overlord spear. When the spear's power reached a peak, the clash between the flying swords and dragon teeth was coming to an end. With a roar, Di Feng sent his giant spear piercing forward, just as the spear shot forward. On the other side, the endless lightning domain also vanished. All that lightning had been compressed into one spear. Wild lightning soul battle spear. Long Chen also let out a shout as the two of them unleashed their strongest attacks at the same time. Chapter 1879 A battle between giants boom. The two spears collided in the air, and then it was like the world exploded. Endless divine light exploded. Long Chen and Di Feng both coughed up a mouthful of blood. Cracks covered their entire bodies as they were almost blown apart by that terrifying power. Again, Long Chen roared and thunder force condensed behind him. With his last attack, all the thunder force he had summoned had been used up. Now he summoned forth more power from his lightning world. A lightning spear rapidly condensed in his hand. Thunder force surged out of the portal behind him. Wild lightning soul battle spear. Long Chen launched an attack once more, just as berserk as the last. An attack with the power to destroy the land. In fact, it was even stronger than his first attack. Di Feng snorted. He also unleashed the same attack as before. A powerful explosion shook the world again. This was a clash of brute power, between paragon arts. It was the simplest collision. Yet again, the two of them were sent flying and coughed up blood. Again, Long Chen let out a crazy roar. A new lightning spear was born in his hand. What the fuck? What's he doing? Even Mo Nian jumped in shock as he crazily blocked the attacks of the other experts. Long Chen was being truly vicious right at the start. Yu Xiaokian's sword was dancing in the air as she blocked a portion of the expert's attacks. She kept an eye on Long Chen. Long Chen looked like a furious battle god. The sight of him like that made her emotional. This viciousness toward Di Feng was because of her. She couldn't help being moved. Especially since this person going crazy to protect her was also the person that she loved. Boom. A third clash of paragon arts exploded. The world had been ruined beyond recognition. The ground was turned to rubble, and lava spurted out in various places. Those experts that had come with Di Feng were pale with fright. Now they were seeing the terror of the eastern wastelands demon king. Right off the bat, Long Chen unleashed his strongest attack over and over again. That kind of undefeatable will gave them chills. Again, Long Chen extended a hand and another lightning spear appeared in his hand. Di Feng's expression finally changed. After three intense clashes, he couldn't hold on. He didn't have Long Chen's powerful physical body anymore, and his body would be in danger of exploding. Di Feng formed rapid hand seals and flew back. The figure in his manifestation clapped its hands together. Rays of immortal light shot out of it in an attempt to interrupt Long Chen's paragon art. Long Chen snorted and 72 dragon teeth appeared in front of him. Those rays of immortal light exploded upon contact with them, unable to break through. Wild lightning soul battle spear. The lightning spear once more shot out. The immortal light crumbled in front of it. Di Feng rapidly formed hand seals as he retreated, unleashing more divine light to form barriers in front of him. The lightning blasted through his immortal light. Di Feng had summoned 27 barriers all of which were destroyed by the lightning spear. However, it was also starting to dim. Finally, D 
Di Feng stabbed his spear forward. After having most of its energy exhausted, the lightning spear was easily dealt with. A powerful paragon art was handled just like that. You've fallen for it. Die. Suddenly, a grim voice rang out behind Di Feng. A wild lightning spear stabbed toward his back. Di Feng was shocked. At some point, Long Chen had appeared behind him. So he hastily swept his spear toward Long Chen. Divine power raged. He had actually activated the power of his divine item. However, what Di Feng hadn't expected was that this lightning spear was actually incredibly weak. It lacked any power. It was like he had smashed an egg with his spear. There was no resistance at all. Not good. Di Feng's expression completely changed. He sensed something behind him, but he had no time to look back. Boom. A lightning spear silently pierced his back. It struck him directly, and the lightning spear's power exploded like a volcano. A powerful explosion rocked the sky, smashing Di Feng into the ground like a meteorite. Di Feng coughed up three large mouthfuls of blood. His robes were wrecked, revealing a scale-like skin. That wasn't his skin but a tight-fitting armor. It looked like it was made of scales, but those scales were actually divine runes that interconnected. At this critical moment, Di Feng had activated this armor's divine power to block Long Chen's attack. If it hadn't been for it, he would have died. Before Di Feng could even stand up, a giant arrow shot toward him. Di Feng was startled and infuriated. He swung his spear in front of him, and his armor lit up. These two divine items were actually able to link together to form a great defensive shield. Boom. The arrow struck a shield of divine light, and the world shuddered. Di Feng once more coughed up blood and tumbled back. Just wait. Di Feng suddenly took out a golden jade talisman and crushed it. He gave one final glare at Long Chen and Mo Nian. Boom. Long Chen's lightning spear and Mo Nian's arrow both ended up missing. They struck the land, filling the sky with dust. Di Feng had used the jade talisman to flee, kill Di Feng's dogs. Even with Di Feng having fled, Long Chen's gaze was cold. The thunder force behind him scattered. He sent the 72 dragon teeth to the appalled experts. Run. Those experts' expressions completely changed. Even Di Feng had fled. How could they resist both Mo Nian and Long Chen? Experts fled in every direction, while Long Chen's dragon teeth cut them down. Mo Nian also shot his arrows. Each of them took an expert's life. Miserable screams rang out. Divine items filled the air, and Long Chen flew back and forth. Gathering them. Novaloon.com Uziaokian was standing to the side, not doing anything. Long Chen had already told her not to participate. In order to take the divine items, Long Chen was slower with his attacks. In the end, it was Mo Nian killing people and Long Chen gathering the divine items. However, these people were very strong with powerful trump cards. Some of them were able to block one of the attacks of the dragon teeth and some fled so quickly that they were gone in the blink of an eye. Everyone who had fled was gone, while those who hadn't fled would never be going anywhere. Only then did Long Chen slowly come to Yu Ziaokian's side. Sorry, I might have implicated you, apologized Yu Ziaokian. This time, she might have caused a huge calamity. Long Chen would be hunted down by the entire world. How did you implicate me? By the way, who are you? I wasn't fighting just now because you're beautiful, but as vengeance for my brother, I'm a particularly righteous man. For my brother, I would stab myself, and for a beauty, I would stab my brother. Beauty, do you want to try it? As long as you kiss me, I'll demonstrate it right now. Long Chen smiled. You bastard, we barely reunited and you do this to me? Shameless cursed Mo Nian. Yu Ziaokian was crying but smiling as well hearing his words. This was why Long Chen had shouted that he was getting revenge for Mo Nian at the start. He had arranged his way out from the beginning. If someone said that he was colluding with the original devil race, he would refuse to admit it and say that it was for Mo Nian. He would say that he had no idea who she was. Although his enemies wouldn't believe it, Long Chen was already familiar with this move. Let me introduce you. This is my best friend, Mo Nian. Just like me. He's an evil fellow said Long Chen. Miss, don't listen to his nonsense. I'm actually a good person. Mo Nian quibbled. Do you even believe yourself? Would a good person go grave digging every day? Snorted Long Chen. 
At least, it's better than you tricking someone into drinking bull milk. He drank it himself. It has nothing to do with me. All right, I won't waste my time with you. We're not far from the treasures. Let's talk while we walk. Mo Nian pointed in a direction. The three of them set off, and Long Chen asked how Yu Ziaokian had encountered Di Fang. The truth was that Yu Ziaokian had also sensed that this place's terrain was special. She felt it was likely a giant tomb with some terrifying existence buried within it. That was why she had entered. Who would have thought that as soon as she entered, she would encounter Di Fung and the others who were at a loss. They had been wondering how to get in. She had tried to slip away, but Di Fung had noticed her and wanted her to stay behind. As a result, she was forced to expose her divine mark to keep him at bay, exposing her identity. If Long Chen and Mo Nian hadn't come, she would have been forced to kill herself. This was also one reason why Long Chen was so infuriated. He knew that Yu Ziaokian would rather die than let others learn the secrets of the original devil race from her body. That would bring a calamity to the original devil race. He, we've arrived. Now, how do we get in? They arrived at a giant, man-made cave in a mountain. Wait, I suddenly have a brazen idea. Long Chen suddenly had an evil thought. Chapter 1880 Giant tomb you mean we should arrange something special. Mo Nian's eyes lit up. What do you think? Long Chen wriggled his eyebrows. The main thing is that I don't have anything good, said Mo Nian helplessly. What about this? Long Chen took out the blazing dragon cauldron. There were quite a few giant ants trapped within it. My god, heaven devouring ants. He, do you think they're enough? They're definitely enough. Mo Nian was delighted as if he was looking at a treasure. What are you two talking about? Yu Ziaokian looked at Long Chen and Mo Nian blankly. Long Chen said, If nothing unexpected happens to him, Di Feng will quickly return. We're thinking of preparing a welcoming gift for him. Di Feng had been at a disadvantage before, pressed from both sides by Long Chen and Mo Nian. He had had no choice but to run. However, his injuries weren't too bad. The majority of the impact had been absorbed by his armor. His spiritual Yuan would also quickly recover with his manifestation. Di Feng had entered this cave, but he hadn't found the way deeper. He had been roaming the outside, which was how he had encountered Yu Ziaokian. He had wanted to capture her before continuing to research the cave. Before opening the cave, he was unwilling to leave. Long Chen's guess was that he would gather other experts. As long as he found another expert on his level, he would immediately rush back. With Long Chen and Mo Nian both present, the scale of the battle would definitely be on a greater level if he returned. So Long Chen wanted to prepare something first. Any ideas on how to prepare it? Asked Mo Nian. Long Chen shook his head. I'm sure you're better at traps. You've been doing archaeology for a long time, so you definitely know many mechanisms. You do it. All right then. Mo Nian nodded and took out an elegant little trunk from his spatial ring. When he opened it, Long Chen saw countless unique tools. There were chisels, claws, axes, rulers, as well as runic seals, silk, etc. Are they all part of your profession? Asked Long Chen with surprise. But of course, as a pioneer of the archaeology world, the successor of the human race's inheritance, how could I not have this little bit of ability said Mo Nian unashamedly. He took out a single strand of silk and pulled it over the ground. It's actually the runic silkworm's inscription silk, exclaimed Yu Ziaokian. You know it. Now it was Mo Nian's turn to be surprised. She even knew of such a thing from an isolated branch of knowledge. Long Chen smiled. Yu Ziaokian was extremely erudite. This had always been one of the points he had admired about her. Seeing that Yu Ziaokian merely smiled faintly. Mo Nian sensed that she didn't like talking, so he continued with his work. He slowly arranged the silk. This silk was very miraculous. When it met the ground, it actually merged into it. This silk was very precious. It needed to be branded with runes, and to brand runes to silk was a technique that had been lost with the years. Mo Nian had found this kind of silk in ancient tombs. Fortunately, with the protection of the runes, these strands of silk hadn't corroded so he could reuse them. In truth, Mo Nian had learned many things from his years of grave robbing. 
Many experts liked to leave some of their inheritances within their tombs. Some of those inheritances were brought into their coffins. That was why some inheritances might be lost in the outside world but still exist within some ancient tombs. So Mo Nian did have some truth to his words when he said that he was continuing lost cultivation culture. With Mo Nian at work, Long Chen pulled Yu Ziaoki into the side and asked her about the original devil race. Through her explanation, he learned that the original devil race was doing well. Their disciples were using the foreign magical beasts as whetstones for themselves. They were getting stronger day by day. Things were going even better than expected. The only worrisome thing was that even now, they hadn't managed to find any trace of wild. It was unknown where that child had run off to. Yu Ziaokian hadn't been planning on entering the Yun Yang world originally, but these were the directions of the Great Prophet. Only now did Long Chen learn that the Great Prophet had passed on. However, before leaving, she had told Yu Ziaokian that she had to enter the Yun Yang world. As for why, she hadn't said. The Great Prophet was already gone, so Yu Ziaokian could only follow her instructions. Hey. Have you made some mistake? I'm working myself so hard, but you are flirting with a girl? Long Chen, can you have some shame? Cursed Mo Nian once he was about done. Yu Ziaokian immediately blushed, while Long Chen indifferently shrugged. In just half an incense stick's worth of time, Mo Nian was done. There were no signs left on the ground. Even with spiritual strength, it was impossible to sense anything odd. It went without saying that Mo Nian was truly skilled at grave robbing. The threads of silk had merged with the earth. When a strong enough expert stepped into this region, they would be triggered. Long Chen took out the heaven-devouring ants from the blazing dragon cauldron. Knocking them out one by one, he handed them to Mo Nian. Mo Nian took out a thumb-sized pot. That pot contained its own space, and he sent them inside. The heaven-devouring ants would be wrapped in runes when he moved them in and they would rapidly shrink. After arranging that, Mo Nian took out a stone tablet and placed it at the cave entrance. However, looking at it, he felt that it was lacking something. Long Chen, you should say a few words, said Mo Nian. What words? Whatever you think will anger Di Fang. Long Chen thought about it and wrote a quick line with his finger. A line of bold words appeared. Di Fang, does your face hurt? Ha ha ha. Mo Nian laughed. These words definitely contained killing power. Di Feng would go crazy as soon as he read it. Mo Nian left a formation disc on the ground. Once the formation disc was activated, this place would be covered by an illusion, concealing the cave entrance. From a distance, it would be impossible to see anything odd about this place. This was because Mo Nian was worried about someone other than Di Feng arriving first and activating the mechanism. Only Di Feng's group knew this exact location, so this illusion would only be unable to fool them. After arranging all this, the three of them walked into the cave. They reached the end in just a few miles. There was a giant stone wall at the end with ancient runes on it. Paths had already been forcibly created to the two sides of this stone wall. These idiots don't know anything. This place isn't the entrance. Even if they searched for a decade, they wouldn't be able to get in. As for the wall's formation runes, as long as they aren't suicidal, they wouldn't dare to attack it. Mo Nian smiled. He suddenly took out a bizarre boat. The boat was 10 meters long and had a drill at the front. Come, get on. Mo Nian brought Long Chen and Yu Ziaokian aboard and then activated the boat. It began to dig straight down. The drill rapidly spun and pierced the ground. Amazing. Who would have thought that after a few years apart, Mo Nian would learn so much? Long Chen raised a thumbs up at him. He, this is what I use to eat. I should tell you that I've explored tens of thousands of ancient tombs now, and I've been busy every day. I can do over ten on a good day, and it's all thanks to this little fellow. This place is a giant tomb, and the entrance should be 400 miles below here. This place is the life-facing gate. In ancient times, most large tombs were structured this way, said Mo Nian confidently. I don't think so. The runes on the wall are swallowtail runes, something that only appears at the end of the tombs. If that's the case, this place isn't the entrance but the exit. Most exits are located at the bottom of the tomb. A Yang tomb is different from a Yun tomb. Their entrances aren't the same, said Yu Ziaokian. What? 
You can read those runes. Mo Nian stared at Yu Ziaokian with absolute shock. He had seen such runes many times, but he had never learned their names. As they spoke, the boat pierced through the ground. They had already reached the location that Mo Nian had indicated. They were like rats digging into the ground. They used divine sense to probe their surroundings. It really isn't an entrance. Curious. Mo Nian felt himself blushing. He was actually mistaken. This isn't the martial heaven continent. The tombs aren't the same. Perhaps the master of this tomb isn't even human. Said Yu Ziaokian to comfort him. That's reasonable. Then let's test things according to your theory. Said Mo Nian. He continued controlling the boat to dig. Not long after, some explosions came from the rear of the flying boat, causing the earth to crumble. Long Chen smiled, knowing that Mo Nian was making it more difficult for anyone who followed them. The pressure of this giant tomb greatly limited their divine sense. If they tried to enter the tunnel Mo Nian had made, they would be forced to slow down. Every little bit could help stall them. They continued descending for two hours, not even knowing how many miles they had gone. In any case, even Mo Nian's boat was starting to find it taxing. However, Mo Nian finally managed to see some familiar runes. He knew that they were approaching a way into the tomb. Putting away the flying boat, Mo Nian touched the runes. After examining them and searching some more, he actually found a stone gate. He took out a talisman and placed it on the gate. What? Is this to ward off evil? Asked Long Chen. TCH. What evil? This place is the exit, so for us to enter from here requires going against the flow. Considering how old this tomb could be, who knows what's inside? Who knows how much baleful chi has accumulated? Those things could harm our yuan spirits. I'm testing the concentration of baleful chi inside right now. Oh, there's actually very little. How curious. Well, be careful. I'm going to open the gate. Mo Nian took out eight talismans and placed them in different locations. They made a strange picture on top of the stone gate. Open. Mo Nian let out a quiet cry. The eight talismans lit up, and the gate's runes also lit up. Light flowed out like a spider web. The stone gate slowly opened. 